Hi, Carl. Hello. Oh, Hamilton did decide to join us. Hi, Hamilton. Ham, they're over here. Meow. Oh. <laughs> Where's your kitties? Meow. There's a kitty. Look, Hamilton, he doesn't care. Kitty, on, Meow. no, kitty, see? My goodness. Carl, I just cannot believe that conversation that was happening. <laughs> People listening to this video are gonna go, what, what are they talking about? I couldn't believe him. Huh? I will say nothing because this is being recorded. Well, you can you can generally say that was like bizarre. So people don't think I'm talking to myself. See, it's bizarre. Anyway. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, how are you? How's, okay. the, how's the ponds? Uh, it's okay. Just okay? Have you registered for uh, SciCon yet? No. Not I don't yet. have registration open yet. No, you're right. We should just sit there with the ready with our fingers on the button. It's only a uh, year and uh, what, 10 days away? Yeah, my guess it'll be quite some time before they open up registration. I posted a picture today showing the- Yeah, I saw it, that. It was announced, it is happening. Richard Saunders just uh, interviewed Dr. Carl. What fun, wonderful. Okay. He spells it with a K, doesn't he? He sure does. Yeah. He's a doctor, Carl with a K. Here comes Bob again. I'm getting the little stuff ready for tonight. People joining the video will see how exciting the pre-show is that we go through. You can't see on my screen all the amazing amounts of work I'm putting in right now. Yeah. I, I'm erasing, um, copying and erasing. I'm copying the old score sheet and putting in the new score sheet. So I don't have the formula. <laughs> I don't think we have any video. <laughs> I don't think we have any video of that. God, that was... I'm going to have to do that someday because... Oh my gosh, I can't stop laughing whenever I think of you guys trying to teach me how to do uh, put in Google um, spreadsheets, the addition formula thing. Because yeah. everybody's yelling at me, no, more to the right. No, the one up above. No, you're supposed to put it this way. And then people are like, wait, no, that's how you do it. You do it this way. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Well, <laughs> I'm the funny one. You all are the hilarious ones. Well, everyone that was trying to teach you how to do it. At the top of their lungs. Yeah. The only thing I could say, it could be worse. <laughs> it could have been trying to tell Mark how to do it. Yeah, Mark, he's over here. <laughs> he would be like, all of you guys, I'm not, I don't want to have anything to do with this. I, I've seen you trying to explain to him how to do something on his iPhone. So, yeah. Yeah, it would be interesting. Hi, Jeff. Hey Susan, how's it going? We're we're doing great. Oh look, here comes James. <coughs> Finally, he's been touring around the world or something. I don't know. He decided he would join us. <laughs> About freaking time, James. Good morning. Where have you been? A long time no see. Let's see. Dude got better from his COVID, and now he's like, okay, I'm out of here. And you, you, where have you been? uh let's see new york state uh, update uh ohio several weeks uh pacific northwest went uh took my kids on a uh, and on a boat trip for uh five days on a boat oh where and, at uh all around 
That's awesome. Like up around like Washington or uh, the Boston? San Juan Islands and uh, yeah, no, I know the San Juan Islands. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, went to uh, uh, San Juan Island, Orcas Island, uh, yep. Susia Island. Yep. And, uh, very nice. Island. All very nice. Yeah. All very nice places to just relax and. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy good. enjoy the island life. Yeah. Hi, Brian Kirby. It's good to see you again. Where's Terry? He's still in Maine with the cat. It'll be a while. She's doing a good job keeping the cat healthy. So keep the cat alive. She has right. one job. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's doing well though, surprisingly. So hey. Mm -hmm. Hi, Leonard. Leonard, greetings. Leonard's over most of the training for GSOW already. <laughs> He's doing really good going fast. Where's there? Oh. Making your final project is one of the hardest things to do. You think you've already final almost project? Yeah. your final project. He has to rewrite a Wikipedia page. But uh -huh. to choose that is the hardest thing in the world because it's just the first page you write is just oh I don't know. It's like it's like your first love, I guess. It's really mm -hmm. hard. Yeah, I didn't realize that you um, had a list of pages to rewrite. Mm -hmm. So since I knew that was coming, um, I looked at Wikipedia pages for people I knew or people that were um, that that I thought maybe had not such good Wikipedia pages. Mm -hmm. So I had in fact picked one out, um, but it's not on your list, so. Uh, you know what? I, think I can I do it afterwards. You could, but the things on the list are just suggestions. I wanted to kind of narrow it to something so that people would be able to have like only 50 choices instead of like almost all of Wikipedia. I'm going to look yeah. at the page you're thinking of doing. I I think. No, I didn't. I didn't tell you which one it was. Yeah, you did. No, I, um, I didn't tell you which one I had thought of before. Oh. The one that's on the one that I told you about was one from your list is, is it a secret i mean no I we're recording but no there's a uh, uh an astronomer by the name of derek pitts who works at a uh, science center in i think it's pittsburgh that i met on a solar eclipse cruise um he's black mm -hmm. Um, so a astronomer, a black astronomer who living? is living, he's already got a page. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't have to worry about, uh, notability issues. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just not a very fleshed out page. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's, he's just wonderful. Uh, he's a really smart, really kind, really, uh, good teacher. He's just, he's great. And so if you um, reach out to him to upload photos, he will do that. Uh, he might. I don't know. It's been been years since I've met him, um, but it's a possibility. But the guy that I had uh, taken off of your list, mm -hmm. um, James Alcock, mm -hmm. um, ah. meets all of those criteria as well, except he's not black. <laughs> His Wikipedia page actually looks really good, I think. And I'm not 100 percent sure. I think I'm the one that wrote this, but like. Yeah, Alcock's page isn't bad. I didn't uh, didn't look at it in great detail. It's wordy. Yeah, um, yeah. Derek Pitt's page is really sparse. Well, look uh, so, so that's that's why I thought of it. Romero's on the same spot you are. How are Romero? Yeah, well, I gotta beat him to the end. Yeah, you should. Sure yeah, he probably will beat me. <laughs> Did you say Daryl Pitts? Derek, let me. Uh, let me find it and give you a link. Uh, I'm, already, I'm already there. You got it? Except that I had an apple in the way and, um, and it's spelled. Dar oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely in the to be rewritten yeah. page. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's like not there. <laughs> I've seen shorter pages. I've seen like two sentences in there. Yeah, but bad. I mean, to, really to have someone that has been you know looking at the second 
sentence of the lead. He, he has been named him. as one of the 50 most important African Americans and research scientists. And he has. And he's got this crappy Wikipedia page. This would be a very good pick. Confirms he exists. Yeah, that's about. Well, it. I mean, he's made numerous television appearances on the Colbert Report, The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Countdown with Keith Olbermann, The Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell, and The Ed Show. And he's a weekly um, and co-hosts a that? weekly. Uh, his name is Derek Pitts. Derek he's, Pitts. Yeah, he's yeah, I just chief put the astronomer. Link in the chat. This is a yeah. really good page to do. Yeah, well, chief astronomer and planetarium director of the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Um, so I just, you know, that, that was, uh, that was what I thought of, but very, very you, as you point out, it is important for me to keep my trainer happy. Yes. So as I she, pointed out. So she tells me what to do and I do it, but, uh, Romero, are you paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that since I had looked in, uh, in my complete inexperience and lack of knowledge, of Wikipedia compared to my illustrious trainer. I thought that maybe um, Dr. Pitt's uh, page might be a good mm -hmm. uh, opportunity. I agree. So if, uh, if I have your permission, I yes, will. I think that's a wonderful. Uh, I will approach uh, uh, Derek. No, don't approach him yet. <laughs> Not yet. I want to see what you flush out of there first. Okay. But when you get about halfway through, you are going to need to reach out to him and say, "I need some. I need some photos." Yeah, um, there are. Or there, them. Yeah, there are a fair number of photos out there um, on various uh, sites. Uh, uh -huh. You know, like from the uh, uh, from the museum that he works for. But it has uh, to be uploaded by the person who owns the photo, and that's a pain in the freaking ass. Understood. Um, so it's best. I to don't. Uh, think I have any photos of him that I took. That would be better. Um, um, be, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I met him under circumstances where I had a camera and I was taking pictures <laughs> of people, namely the uh, a, a total solar eclipse. Um, but I don't think I have any of him. Is there anybody else who is on that same trip? With I'll, I'll, I'll look have? around and I'll look around and see what it's I can. It's so find. much easier when you know these when they know the uh, the photography. Ab Absolutely. Jim Alcock pictures. Yeah, I'm. I know I have some. James Alcock. Well, I put. Yeah. I I think they're all up there. I, I did put James Alcock some of those pictures up there because I recognize them now. Yeah, Saunders. Um, Hi, Alan. Hi there. I see your daughter's off on another adventure. Uh, well, I don't know. She's been down, down in, uh, in, in by the Gulf for a few weeks now. Louisiana. Uh, yeah, she was basically running two hours every each direction out of uh, New Orleans for a while, but they moved her a little closer. But uh, she's down, and I, I can't even remember where the place is. There's whatever the place is. It's not there anymore. It's just flat. His daughter works for FEMA, so that's why. It so she's all over. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good evening, everybody. Where's my disco lights? Your disco oh, off camera. Sorry. Yeah. I'll One day I'll move it all around again. Yeah, I'll live. And there's Saunders. Hi, Sa Saunders. You just had a nice recording with Dr. Carl with a K. Yeah, two. Uh, it was supposed to be how long? It was supposed to be 20 minutes and turned into an hour and a half or something like that. <laughs> so there'll be a two part interview coming up. And I've got my new selfie light. Well, it's not, it's bright in here anyway. It doesn't make much difference. There we go. No, oh, it works good. It makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, it makes a big difference. Let's uh, it, it moves the shadows. It adds more glare to glasses. But I think I'll turn it off for now. Anyway. Yeah, you're fine without it, but it adds. Yeah, yeah. Romero, did you have something in mind, uh, uh, Paige? You've started to think about for your final project. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been going through. Um, Nice photo. Mexican scientists and uh -huh. stuff like that. But most of the people I've gone to have like two or three paragraphs. So I, I don't know if maybe they already like. 
You know, it's, yeah, it's up to you. If you think that it could be flushed out, it's it's just a training. It's a train. I mean, obviously, we're hoping you're going to rewrite a page completely and it's going to be this massive thing. But I've seen people who've gone through the trouble to rewrite it and they've done their work and they've done their research and they add like three citations. That's as far as they can get. But that's that's it. So, you know, you do what you can. And um, it's a learning project. You know, the whole goal is to learn. I'll, I'll force you to go through all the exercises that, um, you know, I'll force you to do all the things I want to make sure that you know how to do, even if you can't do it on that page because they don't exist, but we'll still try to make sure you've covered all those, 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 um, I want to make sure you know how to do it, even if you don't get to do it because it doesn't exist, if that made any sense whatsoever. I see Avi's here. Well, we see it's dark over at Avi's house. The lights are out. Yeah. Scary. It's Halloween. It's not even Halloween yet, and we're already getting been, spooks. Oh, I have a telemarketer. I've also been reading the, well, not reading, but uh, listening to the Hail Mary. Project oh, Hail oh, Mary. oh, oh, Hail Mary Project. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> Everybody that? better get done with that damn book, you guys. Hail Mary Project. It, yeah. Yeah, Project Hail Mary. It's a great, it. great, uh, great book by Andy Weir, and it's really worth uh, listening to it. Listening, yeah. Uh, for reasons that I, yeah, I will not spoil. Boy, that is a that is a story that is so easy to spoil if you spoil it. I mean, you, huh? Although the way it's constructed, um, you're clueless. It, it's, as a reader. it's incredibly easy to uh, to to spoil, and the uh, and the reveals are just exquisitely done. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. The writing of the book is well done for the reader. You are totally surprised at everything that happens. But yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You really can't explain it to somebody to, to recommend well without blowing it. Uh, the, the closest I've come to that is... If you liked The Martian, you'll probably like this book too. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it is a man in an extreme circumstance, has to do with space and math and science. Yeah. It's pretty uh, funny when like he, he's- uh, No spoilers. He's thinking something and then, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but he's thinking through something and just the things that like, this is probably not going to give much, but like he's stuck into a computer <laughs> and then he's like, careful, oh, careful. Like, like Siri or Alexa. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're so one, one of the things that I really, really like about the book um, has been mentioned in a couple of interviews he's done. Mm. He goes out of the way to explain science that isn't necessary for the plot. But it's mm -hmm. cool, and he's got characters that can do it, so he does. Yeah, that is true. You learn and a he lot does about it, that and, and it's really well done. Talking about Project Hail Mary? Yeah. Yeah. No right, spoilers. So, I, so as a spacecraft designer, I caught one mistake so far. Uh, yeah. Hey, nothing there's, more. There's more than one. Well, there's a really easy one, and I don't understand why that kind of slipped through. Basically, you know, the lab table is steel. There's no freaking <laughs> way. <laughs> it's not a plot spoiler. There's a lab oh, table no. on the ship made of steel. There's no reason to do Have something. Have you finished like it yet? Maybe that's a critical plot issue. Oh, no. <laughs> you can mute him, Susan. You can <laughs> mute him. Lab <laughs> tables are made of steel. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it's steel. You would never do that on a Maybe spacecraft. Maybe file the wait. table it down be... and use the filings oh. to start a fire. Uh, but this is special space steel. No, no. <laughs> And nothing, nothing. I do not want this spoiled. I don't Everything on the spacecraft we ever designed was beryllium, titanium, and aluminum because they're light and strong. Yeah. Well, well, I can't or, or say. Co co composite material. I not, can't uh, say that not, in the, not every in the spacecraft movie. spacecraft is built for the same reasons you uh, yeah, built yeah, yeah. them. No reason well, in the movie still. The Martian, I can say there's a man who's in a spacecraft of some sort and he goes to Mars. <laughs> and <laughs> in the movie, Wait a you minute, see a table with books on it, with bookmarks in it. Yep. That is like, why would you, why would somebody, I mean, yeah. weight is super important. There's no way you would put books yeah. on, a, on a ship. And 
you know, things floating around and space, you know, no, you would not put a book. I don't thing. think this out. I watched Titanic the other day for the like umpteenth time. And uh, in, in, the, in the original dive images, which were real, they had images of the ship, but then they made stuff up. So they had the fireplace in the main room, which was all degraded because it's been under the ocean for six, six, seven years. And then they show it transform into the current one. And in the on the on the, the mantle of the fireplace is a clock just sitting there. It's like it crashed to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean and the clock did not fall off the fireplace. Are you kidding? 10 and 2? How did they miss that? <laughs> it was I bolted like... down. No, it wasn't because they showed him pick it up later. <laughs> Bolts had rusted through. In fact, there were other things on top That's of the fireplace too. It was just, oh my God, how did you do that? <laughs> So that's the kind of thing I pick up. And Neil deGrasse Tyson looked at the star images in the North Atlantic and said, that's wrong. <laughs> I don't like, well, you, so you know, do, you, do you know the rest of the story? No. So when, so Neil deGrasse Tyson noticed, saw that the stars were wrong. And yes, I noticed that they were wrong too. Um, and he blogged about this. And when the, uh, when a new release came out, James Cameron approached him and replaced the sky, the star images with the real sky for that place in time. Oh, uh, so the version I saw was probably the more recent one with the correct. It, it, star it may have been. <laughs> yeah, I love that he. I thought that was great. I think that's hilarious. Hello, Kelly. When uh, when Kelly's uh, in the Halloween. When Neil deGrasse Tyson appeared on uh, uh, appears on uh, the. the the Daily Show with uh, when John Stewart was hosting it, he would criticize him because the uh, world was revolving in reverse order. Direction. Oh yeah. yes, I thought it always bothered me. <laughs> and uh, and it's like they're 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 running gag between them. <laughs> so Rob, you have um, in the past uh, mentioned for all mankind, mm. and I have I have watched it now. Ah. Both seasons. And both seasons. And there's one particular element that just stuck in my craw. Huh? There is a strict relationship between the phase of the moon as seen from Earth and the phase of the Earth as seen from the moon. Yeah, I saw somebody post something about it. And they it was your, never yeah. Yeah, got it. It right. was your post. Yeah. And there is absolutely no reason. That's funny. I did not notice that, that. wrong. I never noticed that. So do you yeah. think yeah. whenever we point Makes these sense. kinds of things out that we look like horrible people and, and anal, <laughs> like science nerdy people? Or do you think it's a way of it's a, really it hard for well on the scientific look. community to say there is a way of knowing these things? It's not hard to find out these things. And you should get facts right when you can get them right. I, it's fine if you're making an element of a story for some other storytelling. Yeah, in that example, Leonard just said, there's no reason to... not to do that, right? Yeah, if so, guys, yeah. guys, you're all too anal. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's, thank, it's, thank it's you, like you know what? We <laughs> get this on Facebook all the time. There's all, everybody, we're always posting pictures, advertisements, and things like that. Of, of of musicians, violinists and cellists, and they're doing these oh, contortions, yeah. and it's like you go, oh my god, why couldn't they just pose these guys properly? But it, what the like, hell's the difference? Most people don't give uh, don't give a rat's right. butt anyway. Like like it's kind of the couldn't they have found an extra who was even a casual player, like even a roughly <laughs> casual player? Because there's no, a lot of them out you're, there. You're completely wrong. <laughs> Because they often will have the actual uh, performer in these bizarre positions, and they do it because it's a better photograph. Yeah. yeah. yeah no. Yeah. No. Not. No. Yeah. Not the ones we're looking at. <laughs> like, not, get, not the one I'm talking are, about. No. I these remember. Are like these are kids and stuff like that, and 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 clearly they're models, and uh, they haven't got a clue. And I mean. <laughs> No, no, no. I, like, I would get a picture of Avi a dramatic I would musical pose, which could actually be somebody playing and somebody who very clearly has never touched the instrument. Not I remember one. seeing an interview with a, a science consultant, it was a woman, to the J.J. Abrams uh, Star Trek film, might have been the first one. And there's some plot detail where the Enterprise warps and 
hides in the clouds of Jupiter. <laughs> and she was talking, no, that would not work to do what you're saying it would do. You need to do this. And they didn't do it because their shot looked better. So she was pissed about that. Yeah. I, <laughs> my favorite music related thing is in the music <laughs> video to, I think, uh, Simply Irresistible. There's a point at which the music stops but the women models in the background playing guitar continue playing the guitar, <laughs> even though the music. That sounds familiar. I, I, tried already... to, I tried to get them to fix that, but they never did. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, oh, that's true. You could. Hi, Peggy. Peggy, video. have you seen Robin today? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not working this week. Oh, she's got something for you. Robin does? Mm -hmm. Oh. I, I saw her for dinner last night. We went to uh, Gianni's and I had I had some photos made. And so she, oh. I gave one to her and, and she took one. Oh, great. Also. So she's got one. It's not like something you get her run and see her right away. I'll drive over there right now. So I'm going to log okay, on. You'll be a little late. <laughs> I'll get it for her next week. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Jamie, how you doing? How you feeling? Hi. Good morning. Good. Excellent. We're getting our next vaccine another week and a half. How's it yeah. going, Kevin? There's Kevin. I'm good. Yeah. You're I'm over. Co I'm over COVID. Yay! Hey. Pretty quickly because right. I was vaccinated. My friend Andy, who was with us for trivia a couple times, just got out of the hospital today. First day, he's considered COVID free. Wow. Mm. He was in the hospital for three weeks. And he Ooh, has. Wow. He okay. wasn't vaccinated. He, he was vaccinated too. Oh man! Shit. Damn bad. Yeah. I'm not, he in other words, he would have probably bad. died. Glad, glad I, I got it from at work. Almost died. He was in the hospital for three days. They had to drain his lungs. Oh, oh my God. God. How was your, Richard, how well, was he your was sister vaccinated? Doing? Sister's doing well. I hope I'll hope to uh, see her maybe even tomorrow. Uh, talking on the phone, she sounds like her old self. It's really good. Excellent. Thank, thank you, science. Thank you. Science. How's James? Thank been you, though? science. James is traveling all over the United States, so he's fine as heck. Yeah. He's over it. Yeah. He's too busy to. Oh, there he is. I didn't see you, James. I'm sorry. I just remember the last time I checked. You were he's, well. he's in orbit. Mm -hmm. I so see hi, that, Mama. Man. Wilma, we, so, have, we have a new person who's joined my Monterey County Skeptics Group. She might join trivia tonight, and she is has the same life that you have a lot of it. So, ah. and Bob. So, it'd be really kind of. So Robin was talking to her last night about coming to trivia and she took the link and everything. She says, it sounds like it'd be fun, but she's brand spanking new to the science, uh, to the skeptic community. She's not been in a place where she's been able to, to be out about being her, her thoughts and her feelings about life. And so she's finally just done that. And she came to my first meetup. She came up to one of my Monterey County skeptic meetups, like, Oh my God, where have you people been? She went to Psycon, but didn't, Nobody oh. knew her. Yeah. She just wow. hung in the background. She had she had drinks with Leanne Lord. She says she loved her. Oh. Um, who was the other person? Wonderful. Um, oh, Julia Sweeney. She's so excited to meet Julia Sweeney. But anyway, those, she has those, those are two good people to meet. And but anyway, so Robin's like, oh, you got to come and meet Wilma. Oh my gosh, you guys will have so much to talk about. I don't know if she'll show, but that but anyway. I said she made it sound like what the life she had lived was so unusual. We're like, oh no, we know this. We got this. <laughs> we know another weird person. <laughs> we know lots of. And Bob came from a fundamentalist uh, uh, world too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and Janine no, Palmer. Hmm? I I was a little late, but my mother called just a little bit before so I was chatting with her I learned a really interesting thing she's in her late 80s and wow. she lost her driver's license so she had to get it renewed uh and it turns out that she also has a motorcycle license ability and and they did renew the motorcycle part of the driver's license too and then the guy says but please don't please don't go riding motorcycles anymore <laughs> Mine, mine expired. My motorcycle one expired. I when I got my next license because I didn't renew it. I didn't renew it. But sounds like age discrimination to me. I would have just had to take. Well, look at we got people going to the going to the atmosphere in their nineties. I guess I guess Janine's mom uh, mom could ride a motorcycle. Yeah, that took a lot of effort. Wow. Yeah, he 
he basically had to i think the most Not difficult throw thing he had to do was walk in the door yeah, he, had to that jumpsuit. That's he had to con- that that jumpsuit was custom made for him <laughs> um they he yeah. he had to contort himself a little bit to get into the uh, uh the capsule i still think it's kind of cool because i think I it's like, great i like I l- it I was not into this at all with the billionaires going to space, but now I'm starting to see the reason. And I love the fact that he was 90 because I'm sick and tired of these people thinking that people in their seventies and eighties are like next to death. It's just like, yeah, dude. (laughs) I I especially (laughs) liked what he had to say after he got back. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, One of, one of his comments, which was, I hope I never get over this feeling. Mm-hmm. was just wonderful yeah i agree yeah. and i think it makes science look good to be honest yeah. with you i think people this because you can't go to space without science this isn't you know this is like the polar opposite of what's been going on with politics and and all this other bullshit okay. this is like saying science is fucking awesome you know let's get back to expertise let's get back to um you know, uh, just the feeling of uh, a career in science or taking it seriously. You can't bullshit your way up to, you can't like lie or conspiracy theory your way to, to, uh, to, to the planets. I mean, it's just not. Well, Shatner was a murderer. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. Well, they accused him of killing his wife. You get away. Oh, with he it. didn't. What? Now. I never heard this. She Never was found in her swimming pool. Whenever he came yeah. home, she had, she she had issues. And we're recording this, so be careful. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. There yeah, was, was, there was never any it. serious talk of that. Hi, Mike. Did. Yeah, no, it was an accident. I think she was. I think she was inebriated. Mm. Kevin didn't mean it, you guys. <laughs> you Confusing with with uh, Robert Blake, maybe. Oh, now that's totally a different story. I, I think, I <laughs> think no, Elon, no. Elon Musk needs to respond by putting Patrick Stewart in space. I think we need some old ladies in space. Well, oh, we have to have Avery Brooks and then Kate Mulgrew can go. Oh, oh. They, actually, they actually did that. The very the first flight with people, they brought a woman yeah. who was right part of the astronaut program. But, or, yeah, she could yeah. And she never got selected as an astronaut because they weren't doing women. And she got the flight. I think, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, so they they've already uh, already got that demographic. We check that mark. We check. No, I think I think there's not a lot a of people. Yeah. Get, getting 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 more getting more would be great. Who who here would like to go? Now that I saw it, now that I saw William Shatner do it, I did. I wouldn't do that one for life know. because it's ten minutes and it's not worth risking your life for ten minutes. Sorry. Yeah. To go oh, into orbit kidding? to go into days long orbit that's a different question. I still wouldn't do it because I get motion sick, unfortunately. But I don't I care if I, I do worry about motion sickness too. I, I don't care. I don't get motion sickness. I want, want a contest. If I want a contest, I'd sell the ticket. No, I would I would get motion sickness and sell it on eBay. So I guess this proves Star Trek is better than Star Wars, right? Uh, oh boy. They got Shatner the first, yeah, they got Shatner up there before anybody else. I think it's, I think it's, I don't think it works that way, Kyle, but thank you. <laughs> but I'll bet you there was an Android phone on one of the missions before, you know, yeah, Android. Uh... Yes, I would go, but I only would go now that I've seen Shatner do it. Cause I wouldn't I would... thought I'd fit in one of those, those, those cool looking <laughs> things. They, they would have to custom, they definitely had to custom make his. And they would have to custom make mine. I look great nope. from here up. No, nope, no comments. <laughs> Susan, as you're making teams, I'm probably leaving pretty early tonight. You look sleepy. And you I'm sound not... sleepier. I need sleep. Oh. Being responsible. God. Why Faith bother? Faith will be here. What, she's sick. Faith will be here. She's, she's sick. Oh. Everybody not COVID. thinks COVID. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, Anytime a woman was sick, we always assumed she was pregnant. Mm. Now what? it's well, they did. You know, you're like, oh, I'm not feeling well. Like, even if it was your grandmother? Now, when you were a childbearing age, that's all oh. we ever said. Now we say, 
Can you smell anything? Can you, has your sense of smell? <laughs> we know now. Do you have yeah, it only changed two years ago. Before that was always, are you pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, always. <laughs> All right, so we're at 6.30ish. You okay. guys about ready? Yep. Okay. We have a small group at the moment, but it will get bigger. Adrian said she'll be here in a little bit. And remember, I'm good for two rounds as well. So don't okay. put me in. Well, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. And I all will right. put you all in. Um, it's a benefit to the rest of you, though. So, well, the first two rounds. Okay. So we've got, <clears throat> let's see if I can do this right this time. So, Kevin, you are first up, right? Okay. Peggy, you know you're second, right? Or you know you're you're in here, right? Two, two. I haven't. I don't hear from Peggy. Is she still? She here? said she nodded yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Well, Third. I don't know what the category will be. <laughs> Third is Kyle. All Kyle. set. Roger. Roger will go. Okay, do running room three. I went to school with him. Nice guy. Roger will go. Robin is four. She's not here yet. And hello, hello, Gail. She's here. Hi, Gail. Hi. Who gets the chicken? Gail gets a bonus. Oh, we were talking about your chickens, Bob. At, at uh, We did Monterey County Skeptics Meetup last night. Deborah was there. Robin was there. And of course, the, the conversation always comes around to trivia. And uh, we were talking about chickens. And, and they were like, whoever we were talking to, like, wait, real chickens? We're like, yes, real chickens. Like, <laughs> real chickens. Like, chickens that are, like, chickens that you yes real chickens and when bob gets up and walks away the chickens sit in the chair and we just watch his chickens sitting in the chair and they're they're like oh okay and then there's janine's chickens that come visit once <laughs> my, chickens cats. Be, my chickens wouldn't be up late like bob's how bob how do you keep your chickens awake so late well it's just the two i bring them in they eventually they eventually pass out on the back of the chair and then i just leave them they'll They'll be there in the morning when I come down. They'll just sleep up there. Right. Yeah, I clean up after the chickens every morning. I don't think I'd want them sleeping on my chair. It's, it's they are old, they are not like osprey. It's an old chair. It's I'm down what's the, underneath the chair? <laughs> a, 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 a really nasty basement floor. Oh, okay, that's all right. Okay. Then. You just let it dry and sweep up. No problem. Oh, hi, Ben. I see you're here. I didn't see you come in for some strange reason. It's joy. Hi, Ben. Where are you? I'm good. I don't see you. Sad. You don't see me. I'm here. Oh, there you are. You were kind of under the breakout window screen I had. It was right there. I'm hiding. How could you? How could I miss you? Okay, so there's Avi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine for room one. Okay, so this one I need to split up. Can't have you guys together. That won't work. This one, two, three. Yeah. So much for random rooms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that that will go good. Okay, those guys will be all right. Okay, this one. Oh, that should be okay. And Julie's coming in a little bit later, Jeff, right? No, she's not. She's actually going to be um, she's actually um, going over to see a friend whose uh, dad is getting heart surgery today. So, Ooh. so yeah, so she's gonna go over there and be a friend. <clears throat> okay, so. so you might want to remove her name. That way I won't count her. Well, that's all right. We'll see her soon. Okay, I think these, I think this will go. I think, I think this will be okay. All right. Famous that's last fine. words. Great room names this time. Make sure you come up with some really good room names. <laughs> okay, I'm calling them back. I forgot our team name. <laughs> Robin says she's on her way. Okay. 
<laughs> Saunders, what the hell is that? It's a hoodie. It's a cool today. You're you're gonna commit a crime, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what happened. So Monday, just gone. Normal retail stores in Sydney opened up again for the first time in months. Hey. And so a lot of stores are having sales because they've got all this winter stock they didn't sell. So this cost five bucks. <laughs> I got shoes for 12 bucks. I got shirts and trousers for two bucks. So I did all right. That's it, you guys. Let's all get to Sydney. They just yeah. opened up Monday, you right. said? Everybody have Richard yeah. buy your winter gear and ship it <laughs> here in the state. Well, we'll except, you know, except you know what the shipping problem is where all the shipping containers yeah. out of California so yeah we'll you'll get it in time time for summer <laughs> yeah bye for summer by the way Leonard Labatt wasn't Labatt's blue no it was Moosehead oh okay there you go okay. yeah that's awesome but, but wait a second winter is just starting shouldn't the winter stuff be at a premium you no. think so no winter is coming Interesting. <laughs> um, how much is uh, five dollars in Australian dollars uh, to U.S. dollars? Three thousand. Pretty close. <laughs> five Canadian dollars. Well, if if uh, you gave me five U.S. dollars, it would be about six fifty here, something like that. Seven, something like that. How about, much? About how same, much maple syrup would buy with that? You could buy a lot of maple syrup with that. So Not if much. we send our shoe size. <laughs> well, then, I'll have a, then I can have a good laugh, but apart from that, you're out of luck. <laughs> One Australian dollar, 74.218 cents. Uh -huh. Approximately. Approximately. At close of market today. Okay. I mean, what, what body of water is that behind you? Me? Uh-huh. Um, that's at the Rath Vineyard. Do you know Rath? Down on River Road. Okay, well, I look like local, but yeah. Okay. It's a nice. They have a nice little patio, and it overlooks this. And okay, I think I was drinking that day and took a picture. <laughs> hey, Rob. Rob, <laughs> I got a question. Winery, why not? <laughs> Rob, yeah. I got a question. Uh, yeah. Do you know? Does the name Ben Etkin mean anything to you? Not at all. No. no. <clears throat> We were talking. Uh, we were just talking. He was. Uh, he he taught aeronautic. Uh, he was an aeronautical engineer professor at the University of Toronto and worked on uh, uh, satellite and the original satellite antenna. And uh, and we were uh, Leonard and I. We were talking I'm not about that old. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, but uh, we were we were talking about that stuff. It's we would have loved Avi to meet the guy, you know. But uh, you know, he was out of Toronto. Satellite antenna were well into like many generations design past first the time I started. Yeah. Well, we got onto it because he was one of the people they called uh, for Apollo 13 that come and help uh, figure out, you know, how to uh, oh, really? get the guys back, you know, so. Um, but, they, but he could not figure out, he never could figure out how to, uh, how uh, handicap scoring worked in golf. <laughs> Hmm. Whose dog is making that pleading, pleading? Let me be honest. I hear a dog crying. Oh, that's that's. Uh, I I got uh, Woodstock here. I I may remove her shortly. Mm. Or you could let her play. Hi, Deborah. Long but, time no see. Hello. Yeah, long time no see. We had pizza for dinner. <laughs> I had. But, but for lunch Alan, today. I did work with people who worked on the power systems, batteries included, of the lunar landing modules, which is my wife's uncle, by the way. We worked in the same company. So he was getting close to retirement just as I started. That was kind of- Oh, cool. did, did he work for Grumman? Yes, he did. Oh, because I, I used to live, I used to live in um, Massapequa. I used to live in Long Island. Oh, and that's, used where, to go... that's where all my wife's family still lives. I'm- Oh, from... that, that was in Bethpage. Yep. And we used to go um, huh. sledding. And uh, so right behind when the, the lunar, the LEM was being built, we used to go sledding just behind the facility. And they would have the doors open. So as we go sledding, we could see the lem being built. <laughs> I mean, very slow. All right, great. Wow. It, the world is a small place. Yeah. Once it gets talking. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. We've got um, our rounds tonight are going to be led by first up Kevin. 
Next up, Peggy. <clears throat> After that is Kyle or Carl, whatever you want to call him tonight. No, <laughs> Kyle <laughs> and Robin, who will be joining us soon. She ran into somebody, an old friend at the grocery store. So I think right now she's evading the police because she ran, she ran into them. And then our bonus is Gail. Uh -huh. Tonight, <laughs> we're littered like that. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to be assisted by Alan, who doesn't maybe doesn't even know it yet. He's going to be handling the muting <laughs> and uh, the uh, handling you rowdy people, right, Alan? Wait, what is what does assisting yeah. mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of putting people in mute. Oh God. So you better figure it out. Look at that. There's a thing down, there's a thing down there. I've yeah, never you, seen that you before. Put, there's no. two words. Just wow. two words. It's really easy. Shut up. Yeah, or you just hit mute all. Never it works. Uh, wait, Never wait. How do I how I do I mute every how do I mute everybody? Somebody want to tell them? You click on mute all. You've got powers that you didn't have normally. Wow. Holy Mac. Well, at least I'll be of some use this it's week. It's like William Indeed. Shatner. You've got all these things that you didn't. Yeah. You could cross the, the I'm still so, trying to find mute all. Do, do not hit the button that says remove participants. <laughs> and don't get drunk on the power. <laughs> yeah. Well, where's where's mute all? Does Go to participants. I, wait, where is it? Well, okay. It's under which one? I think it's wait, under I'm security. Practicing. Which I'm gonna... I can't see. Is it under security? I muted me. Oh, 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 yeah. So go to um no, that's that's suspending people. If any trolls come in, you have to get rid of them. And do I have to know how to count from three backwards? Yeah. That would be yes, helpful. but not to do this. <laughs> you know what? I don't see. Where is it? Where is the mute all button? You gave it's up your probably mouse. under. You probably, if you go to participants, there should probably be like a something at the bottom of that window oh so, you know what Let, let's okay hang on uh oh, it's pretty sure no, just, just every week for recovering from religion just give me the powers It'll be the number of counting and the number of counting shall be three <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do the group names while you figure that out uh jeff how do we how does oh i got the, i got the mute all i got okay. the mute. i don't know how i got it but i got it all right make sure you allow people to unmute themselves if they have something very clever or very snarky or funny all right, Thank so I'm soon. Yeah, here's our team name. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have Avi, Janine, Kevin, Saunders, and Karen's actually in your group, but she never did go over to your group. What's your name of your group? We can't remember. It was something to do with them. Um, great um, room name this time, Washington's chapter. That's right. I thought you were saying the name was we can't remember. Kevin Caspian just put, I think, the oh, Sergeant at Arms. Oh, I thought that was your group name, Caspian. I thought you're giving it to me early. No, that's a reference to, you want me to, tie to the end? Oh, okay. As keeper of the meeting. <laughs> keeper of the meeting, Sergeant at Arms. Yeah, that's Alan's a sergeant at arms. <clears throat> Warsh okay, great group be name. A, I want to be Warsh a lieutenant. I want to be a lieutenant. I've always you, wanted to be a you, left. You can be a lieutenant. That's fine. Everybody, okay. change right. your group. Change your room name. Change your name to that. Okay. Room room number two is Ben, Kelly, Mike Wolf, Peggy Hill, and Mr. Palmer. Temp citations are us. Contempt citations are us. Wait, was is this, is this in re relation to something that happened? Well, pretty much all the people that are going to be, uh, you know, like Bannon and contempt for not uh, oh. answering the ah. citation. I thought not I had yet. Yeah. All right. So room number three is Deborah, James, Jamie, Kyle, and Romero. My name is Quiz Games are safer than Squid Games. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> And I just want everybody to know, don't recommend Squid Games for me. I went and read all the spoilers, so I will never have to watch it. <laughs> I, I did this, Susan, I did the exact same thing. Did you? Uh, yeah. I haven't even watched any of the video. I've seen a couple screenshots. That's it. I Put, put it in the <laughs> chat, Mr. Jamie. Um, yeah. And so that way, except I understand there's possibly a season two. So then I'll have to watch really, the spoilers for that. Really? Oh, it, it was good, actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It looked awful. 
I read one <laughs> review that called it a uh, like empty calories. It was like empty bloodbath calories. You know, it's just bloodbath. A bit, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit so the third third group could you please put your uh, name in the chat for me room four alan bob leonard and wilma beam me up beyond the carmen line oh, oh. Nice. that's good that's that's trendy right now Len leonard will explain it we got that i think i think everyone gets it no. how about how about beam me up over the san diego oh, line Sa San yeah San Diego Carmen San Diego get it Carmen San Diego mm, where in the world is spelling. Carmen San Diego oh man that was a good show where in the world was is Carmen San man it had it was catchy you know it was such yeah. a great so how many line. kilometers above that line did they get Leonard um of a couple <laughs> yeah, it's like it doesn't matter as long as you're above it right <laughs> yeah wouldn't that be awful if they didn't get far enough they're like, oh, yeah. we missed it. By the way, after the last flight of Blue forward. Origin, when they were declaring everyone an astronaut, right? I think they changed the rules so that you need to do something in the ship and not to be a passenger or you're not an astronaut. I, I agree. Because uh -huh. otherwise that means, well, does it mean cats? And, well, they are doing something. Cats I mean, not. once you've done that and you've come back to Earth, uh -huh. you can just say to people who go, yeah, you didn't do it. You can say, screw you, I went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. At, at a certain point, you don't. Like you didn't <laughs> who go cares? Back. Who cares? You I don't do. go back. I do. On Earth saying, no, oh, he didn't cross the line. Oh, he wasn't up there long enough. Bloody hell. What an achievement these people have made. And, and all these people around the world, all they can do is bitch about it. It's like, jeez. Anyway, <clears throat> carry on. That's true. I'll carry on. Here. Just don't tell <laughs> Buzz he didn't go to the moon. No, otherwise, you might get punched. Oh, you know what? Buzz should be going. <laughs> okay, room five. Is Where's Ryan the, Kirby, Caspian, Gail, Jeff, and Carl with a K. 90 to 107 <laughs> of the new 30s. And I like that. The 90 is probably clear to everyone. Oh, However, yeah. 107 is only clear if you have watched, mm -hmm. you know, I've listened to uh, George Rabb's geologic podcast because last week he talked about the 107 year old woman who has just published her newest classical piano album. Probably the oldest mm. person ever. Mm. Oh. I'm going to be having intimate time with George Rock. Uh, I'll bet you it's great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. T TMI. Yeah. I mean, That's what know. he says. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making, I've been making a little, here, I'll show you if you promise. I, I, I didn't peg you as someone who would kiss and tell. Don't show it. See, can you guys see that? Ah. The voodoo doll? I've got two. I'm only showing you part of them. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so here we are on the um, Game 75, Sesenta Cinco, for the 14th of October, 2021, or 2021, as Leonard likes to say it. And we are, no. <laughs> and we are in round season two, game 18, is that right, Carl? 75, season two, 18, yes. Season two, game 18. Oh, episode 18. Bingo. Okay, I'm writing that down, so I'll remember that. And we have tonight, 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 for all you unconventional conventionalists, we have great room name this time, Washington edition versus contempt citations RS versus quiz games are safer than squid games, which is true, which is versus beam me up beyond the Carmen line versus 90 to 107, the new 30s. Who will be the winner tonight? At this moment, we have no idea. You're all mixed up, little mixed up, mixed up <laughs> contestants. So that I know that you guys will have to use different parts of your brains that you might not have used the last time. So it's gonna be fun. The leaders tonight are going to be starting off with uh, the starting off the game are going to be Carl. No, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin is starting off. Oh, something then, with a K. Yeah, somebody with a K. I'm actually looking at the wrong. I clicked on the wrong button, so I, I was I just get guessed. Kevin is starting off tonight, followed by Peggy, and then <laughs> Kyle, and then Robin, who has just entered 
Uh, I don't hear any sirens. I guess she managed to evade the police after running over her friend that she ran over in the parking garage, parking lot at the grocery store, and then followed by Gail for bonus. So here we go. Kevin, I'm giving you your powers. Okie doke. There you are. Kevin is the co-host now, so everybody be good. So um, you're uh, going to give us the category and then the category is our sergeant at arms or whatever he is. There tonight. is a hint behind me. The category is Massachusetts. Oh, God, I thought it was going to be lighthouses. Hold on. Can I mute everybody now? Do I get to mute everybody now? Only if you can count from three yes. to one. That's yes. your job. Okay. Three, two, one. I thought you were going to get confused halfway through that. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Kevin. I was just joking. <laughs> I was just going. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first question is going to be in the chat. Most people know that basketball was invented in Springfield, Massachusetts. But did you know another major sport was invented in a nearby city, Holyoke, Massachusetts? For one point, name that sport. Hint, it is an Olympic sport. Name that sport. Is it is it currently Olympic an Olympic sport? Is that what? Yes, I mean? it is. I love I love state names. Those states are fun. Number two, what Massachusetts city is known as the city of champions? Because Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler are both from the same city. Question number three. <clears throat> Two's not in there. Two's not in there yet. Yeah, two didn't paste. Oh, I didn't hit enter. Hit enter. Who wrote the hit song, Massachusetts? Here are some lyrics, and I listed the lyrics there. I'm not going to sing it. Oh, that's half the fun. I thought about doing Rob's thing, but. That's Rob's. It, yeah, the person speaking. Mike is in Australia. Next one's a multiple choice. What is the tallest building in Massachusetts? You got four choices there. Number five, I think, is very interesting. It's my favorite question of the lot. By the way, is C spelled correctly? Nope. S O N S, is it? Seasons. Four Seasons Hotel. Yeah, I just spelled it wrong. <clears throat> the lowest zip code in the, U in the USA is located in what Massachusetts city? Name the city or guess the number within 500. Shit. Hmm? I have to come up with another that? question. It might be Agawam. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. I didn't realize one that. Point. We got one point, team. <laughs> I missed... Scratch that one. My bonus question is now going to be the new There question. you go. The new question. Is it five? Is it, that was my favorite question. I screwed that one up. Okay, so forget five, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a new five. Ah, that was my favorite Getting question. A zero. We're it's, all winners. It's already in the chat. No take backs. Sorry. <laughs> we all get a point. Yeah, we might just only well, get one point in atrocious. this whole category. I think you should leave uh, it. For the people watching at home, this the answer was between 501 or 1,501. <laughs> well, the, the answer was for, Agawam. For yeah. all three of you watching at home. <laughs> Wouldn't have that, you guys would have guessed something, huh? Ah. I would have guessed something in the zeros. And no, no one would have guessed the city. New, the new number five. If you order a Cape Cotter, the bartender will give you a glass of ice and what two main ingredients? Do we only have to name one? No, both ingredients. That was going to be the bonus question. I screwed it up. Ugh. I thought oh, the shit. rule that Susan made was we always have to only only do one thing. Yeah, it was a rule, but that was a bonus. 
and I gave you one. <laughs> I'll live. I'm, I'm sure we'll figure out if you're going to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You have it's name, obvious they're both peanut butter and jelly. Name the state flower, Massachusetts state flower. Oh, good. <laughs> It sounds like it's appropriate that you have a lighthouse behind you. That's an allusion to 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 uh, punch is it technically house. illegal to use tomatoes and clam chowder in Massachusetts? Absolutely. <laughs> and I have a website with the answer on that. Oh dear. But is it on Wikipedia? It probably is. Wrinkled. Jamie, you're not muted for some reason, by the way. Invented in Whitman, Massachusetts, named the most popular cookie in America. Yeah, cookie. Oh, sorry. I'm not, not muted. Four U.S. presidents were born in Massachusetts. I'm going to tell you three of them. You named the fourth. Ooh, that's a good way of getting it. Getting, yeah, Teaching. I like it. I gave you the easy ones. I gave that. That's good. And finally, there are at least two people in this group that should get most of these. <clears throat> the Bullfinch Pub, founded in 1969, is a famous Boston bar. In 1982, Boston Magazine chose it as the best neighborhood bar in Boston. What is the more common name of this bar that everybody should know? And that's it. Okay. Everybody knows what to do? Yep. So, fantastic. Uh, Kevin's got his powers. Let's go and do that. I will send, I will be in room, I will be in the room in a second after I get every, the great room name this time, Washington edition, I will be there shortly. Let me just get you guys assigned into your rooms that you're supposed to be in. Jamie, going to go to quiz games. Robin, you have to go to this one. No, wait, wrong room. Take you out of that. Don't go there, Robin. It's this one. You're going to go to beam me up. This is the room we're going to. Okay. Karen, you there? Janine, we're going to our rooms. No two of the. Yeah, I have an well, idea. Susan, for Susan knows. Susan's Susan the ace. Knows. Well, <laughs> I've never been to Massachusetts. I would love to go. I hope to go. Okay, so go away, Kevin. Yep. Who are we missing in this room? Karen and Janine. Okay. And they're the ones that know all the answers. So answer number one, I don't know. Let me look at this for a second. Um, Do you know what it is, Susan? No idea. Um, Not let's see. Um, for number four, I believe in Chicago is the Hancock Building. I don't know if that's the same as the Hancock Tower. So I would think that A is not the correct one for four. But beyond I doubt that, Four Seasons Hotel is correct because I have, I have a feeling that was just a joke. Um, but I've never. Is, heard is of it the Millennium Tower? It could be. I don't. I've know. never heard of a John Hancock Tower. Yeah, the closest thing is the Hancock Building in Chicago. Oh, right. good. Janine's here because we need her badly. Maybe Kevin thought of the Hancock Building in Chicago because he was recently visiting Chicago, and that's why he put that there. Oh, we're we're doing meta. Yeah. Um, well, I've heard of a, I think I've heard of a Millennium Tower. We're doing four right now, Janine. Okay. 
I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's there. I think I've heard of it being tall. Okay, we're skipping number five that had the zip code. So we're the, we're looking at the Cape Codder. Yeah, does anybody know what that is? Would it be would it be like crab? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> crab and peanut butter or something? I don't know. I don't really oh know. yes. That sounds yummy. The combination we all know so well. Do we know the state flower? Janine, that's your question. Do you know? Don't know the state flower. That's you know, my my mother's family's from Massachusetts. Okay. I've so, never been there. Oh, me neither. Yeah. Um, is it technically illegal to use tomatoes and clam chowder in Massachusetts? I probably. Doubt. Well, I mean, it's such a weird thing for him to say. I mean, yeah. What? It could be, it's it like be maybe it was something that on Snopes, like I could see it being something yeah. that was at one point debunked on Snopes or something like that. That's a good, that's a good line of reasoning. I'll, I'll go along with that. Yeah, that's a good line of reasoning. I, I, <laughs> I don't even have. Technically illegal. I... It just sounds kind of like it's a yes answer. I don't think. You can technically make it illegal, but yeah, but you don't do it. I mean, my mother's from, from, I'd never heard of the tomato clam chowder until I grew up and left home. Mark is always asking for when we go somewhere that would have clam chowder, he'd say, is it red or white? he really likes the red and oh, yeah. it's all white it's all, always the white clam chatter so okay so number eight whitman is Oreo. isn't that the chocolate don't they make those chocolates whitman chocolates the box of chocolates look like the one that was used in um forrest gump's movie i think the most popular cookie in america is the oreo like yeah, it is. That's probably, we got that probably question right. before. Yeah. It is Oreo. Okay, we have an answer to one. Yeah. <laughs> We're on number Where's eight. Karen? Where's Karen? I thought you said Karen. Room. Yeah. <sighs> number nine. Oh, man. Who else? Was it McKinley? No. Um... Jefferson? No, there's a recent one. Let's see. Um, JFK, where was he born? Yeah, he says four, and it includes John Adams, John Quincy Adams, oh, John Kennedy, Kennedy. Yeah. and I'm thinking uh, like Moynihan, oh, but he wasn't a president. Um, I was thinking candidates and senators. Wait, wait. Biden was born in, he was raised in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He lives in Delaware now. But did he, was he from Massachusetts? No, I don't think so. I don't think he so. He would have mentioned that a lot. He probably would have used on the campaign trail or something. Um, could it have, no. Did, could it have been Nixon? I know that he's from San Nixon? Day, but he's I know California. he's a Quaker. He's a Quaker. Nixon's this is born and it isn't he was raised there. Isn't aren't the Quakers kind of big in, in um Massachusetts? Oh yeah, I don't know. I know they're not big in California. And, uh, I think so. <sighs> let's see. Okay, number 10. Is it the is it the pub from um, cheers cheers so what's the name of the, the, is the pub named cheers no but that's what it's more commonly known as the, okay so we've got two let's just go over what we've got so far the answer to number one we've got we don't know right okay let's guess uh, a sport Hockey? It's not skiing or anything like that. Ice hockey? Massachusetts has a lot of cold time, right? Yeah, it's cold there. 
Oh, not not ice hockey polo or something. Polo would have been invented in Europe, I would have imagined. Okay. Yeah, and polo is not an Olympic sport. Um, oh, but there's another one that what has those little ice things that that have uh, curling. You're thinking curling. Not curling, not curling, not curling. No, it has like a neck cup. Is that maybe that's hockey? Polo. Ice hockey? There's polo, there's ice hockey. There's another one, isn't there? One more ice. Well, let's pencil in ice hockey and let's another idea because I just. Can somebody name a Massachusetts city? Boston. Boston. Holcomb. Holcomb, huh? Boston. Matt, Cambridge. City of Champions. Anyway. Have you ever heard of it being referred to as the City of Champions? Cambridge. Boston. Cape Cod. Cape Cod's not a city, I don't think. Might as well put Boston for now. Yeah, we'll just do Boston. Yeah. Three. Hit song Massachusetts, the Bee Gees. It's as good as any. Yeah. It is. No, they had a song called Massachusetts. Oh, this is an answer you know. Fantastic. It's an answer I know. We yeah. have three. Bee Fantastic, Richard. And the tallest building in Massachusetts? No idea. I don't know why I'm leaning towards Prudential Tower, but All right. it does sound like it's a thing. Okay, five. We we go to Cape Cotter. Tomato juice and clams. And what? Clams. <laughs> There's no alcohol in there. What would be an alcohol that you would think? So that's that, that's a replacement for the other one. Is it the lowest? Yeah. Yeah. What would be the thing that you would Nora. think they're known for besides their fish? They're into red. Honestly, powder. that could be just about any substance in the universe. That's a really, unless you know what it is, any, you know, cocktails are many and varied. Well, name an alcohol. <laughs> Vodka. Vodka and tomatoes juice? Yep. Isn't that a Bloody Mary? Clam, oh, yeah. clam juice. Clam, clam juice. I'm gonna put vodka. Vodka. vodka or something. Vodka and clams. All right, that'll be. <laughs> I like that. That sounds good. I oh, that's a Caesar. Is it's, that a real thing? Well, it's there's clamato juice, which is clam slash tomato with tomato, and then you Whoa. put vodka in it and other stuff, and that's. Well, that uh, sounds Caesar. disgusting. It's like yeah, I don't juice. think this has tomato juice. You don't do that. Okay, clam. I think it has to have some kind of clam juice or some kind okay, of. Okay, so name another meat. alcohol that would be from Massachusetts, kind of like a rum or. Oh, it was thinking vodka. like rum or whiskey. It has or to be vodka. Vodka. Okay. okay. I think it's different. It doesn't have any red stuff, right? I don't so know. Clam juice and I don't vodka. Know my drinks. I okay, never drink. maybe maybe that would be it. Okay, okay six. Can I just have That's Ariadne. Oh. I've been working on her. She's got, she's got some. Oh look! Oh, it's Kevin. Where in the heck is Karen? Yeah. How's everybody doing, we Kevin? We should wrap it up. Give everybody a minute or so. Okay. Oh, we'll, give us a little more than that. Okay. We're there. Just a little. Give most, us pe two. most people are stuck on one or two of them. That's all. Okay. Well, we better up this. Well, we, we better be hurry room. and get stuck on one or two then. Yeah, we better. <laughs> Uh, so the state flower, um, corn flower. So you, so okay, so he just says to name the state flower. He doesn't say the name needs to be correct. So I think we should just name it like George. No, no. <laughs> a flower That's after funny. a female. It would be you would name her Eloise. Daisy. Daisy. I was thinking Daisy too. What would be a flower you think that would be hardy? I was gonna. Or? I was gonna give hints, but. Every time I go from group to group, somebody has the answers to some that others don't. So it's more interesting that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a flower that would be corn, hardy. Corn flower. Is is that hardy enough to grow in Massachusetts well? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do that. Janine? I didn't know it was a thing. She's the botanist. 
Well, <laughs> it doesn't, make, that doesn't have any bearing on this answer. <laughs> do we have it? Do we have anything for nine? Well, what about seven? No. Decide on seven. Seven, we have said no. Nine, we have no. We don't have the president. For some reason, I'm thinking McKinley, even though I, you, I think he was actually born in the West somewhere. I don't know why McKinley comes to mind. Well, I'll put it because I don't. I, don't, I got nothing. It better not be Nixon. Okay. Um, Look, we've got answers for everything that might have to do. Yep. So how do I just close all rooms or do I have to give a you first, the room. first you need so to go, go to back go to the main room. screen and then hit close rooms. See if you can get Karen's attention. She didn't come to our room. She's still sitting there with just her picture. Oh. You could tell that. How do you know that? Because I was very late coming in because I oh. went and checked my chickens and one of them seemed to be missing. And then I discovered that two of them were in the same box. Oh, so I was kind of panicking because I I tried to choose the, the simplest time to slip out to go, you know, close them up because I don't want to wait till break. So and I count. And one seemed to be missing. It's always right. one that seems to be missing and they're there. When, when will those babies be ready to like lay eggs? How I had a little be? pullet egg. I had a little pullet egg the other day. Really? So they're getting yeah, close so to So somebody, egg. somebody laid an egg, a little egg. There comes Karen. Tiny egg. I meant to main screen. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Karen knew the answers to these. Well, I'm There's a good chance she him. did. He hasn't called us back yet. So get whoever it is. There's Karen. Karen, do you know Karen, any of the answers? Where have you been? Hi. We, what, we need you to get answer. Which is the ones that we really need badly for her? The to president. Know. The president. What what other president was born in Massachusetts? John Adams, John Quincy Adams, John Kennedy, and one more. Okay. Categories, Massachusetts. Okay, um, the state flower in Massachusetts. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Okay, Do you the know the tallest building? It's either the Han John Hancock Tower, Prudential Tower, Four Seasons Hotel, or Millennium Tower. I doubt it's the Four Seasons Hotel. Yeah. You um, misspelled it anyway. Yeah, it's actually Four Seasons Total Landscaping. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, ask her about the sport. Yeah, I was. Oh. Most people know that basketball was invented in Springfield, Mass. But did you know another sport was invented in nearby Holyoke, Mass? For one point, name that sport. Hint. Um, it is an Olympic. Olympic sport. Hockey. Olympic sport. I was gonna. Rugby. I was gonna guess hockey because that would be surprising. That's what we put. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Okay, give her two. Now, if you ask me about some of the weird names out on uh, heading out to Provincetown on Cape Cod, I could give you many of them, but that's not useful information. Do you, do you know what? Do you know what a Cape Codder is? The drink. A Cape Cod is uh, cranberry juice and vodka, isn't it? Oh my oh. God, she knows this. Cranberry. Okay, right. I knew she would know something. That would make sense. Cranberry juice, sure. Got it. Yeah, and vodka. cranberry juice. Oh, cool. that's cranberry the drink that I usually have when I go out. <laughs> okay, okay. Next, give her something else quick. Um, oh, what Massachusetts city is known as the city of champions? The hint is Rocky Marish, Mar who? Marvin Hagler and Rocky Mark Merrick. I can't say it. you guys don't make me say it. Fair. From the city. Which number? Two. Two. Yeah. What Massachusetts city is known as the city of champions? Hint Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler are from the city. I don't think I can name another. I can only name two cities in Massachusetts, Lexington and Boston. Well, let's put Lexington. Oh, there. yeah, put Lexington. Karen, okay. you've been to Massachusetts. I've been to Massachusetts. Okay, she's off on us. She's got us on it. She's on it, then. She she boy. <laughs> She's our expert. Okay, I have a question. Is a Mayflower an actual flower? I don't think so. No. 
It's about in the same, like if oh that's an interesting idea. If it landed and they named the flower that they found after, like after the ship. Right. I think um, it's clever. You know that's a that's a clever answer. Let's put that. Yeah, because it's it could be anything. I've never heard of a Mayflower, but that's, that's the only good. Thing I um, I think we got all the other, except we really don't know for the presidents. What we was put eight? McKinley. We put eight, McKinley. We've got Oreo. Was McKinley born in Massachusetts, do you think, Karen? No idea. I don't think so, but that's okay. No, Were there we, any we other presidents with the first name John? <laughs> John Wilkes Good. Booth. Good. There were lots of presidents, one of them. John Wilkes Booth? Oh, yeah. Think, <laughs> Susan? So that I didn't realize these, not all three of these are Johns. John. <laughs> John Jacob Jingle Mimer Smith. That is my name too. And whenever we go out, the people always shout, John Jacob John, Jingle Mimer Jacob Smith. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Richard, do you guys have that song in, in Australia? They sing it upside down. John Jacob Jingle Mimer Smith. Nope. That is my name too. Whenever we go we out, we should be able to get the president. Shout. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Um, Jingleheimer Smith. What about uh, oh the one that was president of the university? Um, b -b 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 World War One. World War One. Hoover. Uh, Roosevelt. Um, not yeah. Wilson. Not um, uh, Taft. Oh right. No, Taft was after Roosevelt. Before before that, just before not McKinley. Before McKinley. Oh. Was Polk there? Mm, oh no, I'm thinking of Polk's he was Ohio, president of a university. He was oh damn it. At 28 seconds. Hoover. No. Hoover? Hoover no. wouldn't be president of university. No. Not yeah, no. I'm Hoover and Wilson. Pick something. Woodrow Wilson? Care. Should we put Woodrow Wilson? Just grab that so we don't have a blank. All right. Wilson, Wood, Wilson sounds nice. All right. Woodrow Wilson, it is. Bye, guys. Bye. Good job. Internet. Yes, but part of the other problem is you're correct. And it's and like the, the, all the stuff on the web is under archives. Like, why did they do it that way? That's. Well, I, just, I do not want to come back to an argument, people. We no, we weren't arguing. No, we we're coming arguing. back to an agreement. We're, just, we're, we're not, just, not arguing, we're complaining. We're, we're, we're complaining. We're moaning about we're something we agree on. I want to hear some whining. Oh, oh, you don't. oh, Carl. Okay, Carl, <laughs> can you give us the answer? Yep. <clears throat> you gave us yep. one already, so we're good with that. Oh, okay. So everyone's back. Let me repost it because I don't think you all see it. If you're not here, I forget. Okay. So this is my, I am interviewing John Delancey on Saturday, and that's the address to uh, register for it. We're excited. Is he related to the John Delancey, who was um, many, many years first oboe of the uh, Philadelphia Orchestra? <laughs> might be. He in fact, that's right. question, Rob. That one's free. He you might can be. ask him that. So do I just hit att attend online? What is that I'm supposed to hit? I signed up already. I guess we get the link. I never knew where email. to actually sign up at, Rob. Yeah, I, I mentioned that to them that this is like weird for Meetup. I think it's, I don't know where you're supposed to. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to share it to my Meetup group, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So if I open the page, I I get link visible for attendees, and at the bottom it says attend online. Yeah, I get that too. But so I wanted what, to say that, was, I think that's what you have to click: attend online. I wanted to say share to other Meetup groups, and then, well, there is a share. I. Next yeah, but it goes to people. I'd have to tag every single one, all of 150 of them. Well, if you click oh. share, the bottom thing for me is copy link, and then you should be able to paste it into whatever you... Yeah, but I want it to give me, like, here's all your meetup groups that you manage oh, you put right. it in each of those. I don't want yeah, to have to yeah. Yeah. I, I cannot oh, defend okay. the meetup system any more, uh, okay, any better than I can the uh, CFI's as, as website. A wise, as a wise person once said, you can't always get what you want. Oh, yeah. Well, you try okay, yeah. I just hit the big red buttons and uh, attend online, and it told me to sign up, and I just clicked on, I'm already a member of Meetup, and I clicked on that, and then it says, you're attending. Yeah, no, I, I signed up for a long I'm time done. ago, but I wanted to put it, I wanted an easy way to just share it with 
my human is well the, e the easiest way is just is to copy the link i i give and share that or or the url that's up top this is just a shortcut to the url but will it have like the promotional part of it too or do i have to write that in myself or no I, it just goes to the link that you just saw right now okay you guys ready for yeah. answers yes. oh my goodness yes this would be good i will put that up on my facebook page okay go ahead that's if we were ready for the questions because we weren't <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Number I think one. we did a lot better than we thought. And Karen actually came in late and knew some of these. So wait, 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 wait. Was Caspian assigned uh, to a team? Never. Yeah. yeah, he's on a team. He's in my team. Team Why? five. I thought he got Num here late. Number one. The answer is volleyball. Oh, oh that is oh, not oh, even something bad. we even thought would be. Volleyball? Is it beach volleyball? Wow. No, volleyball. Volleyball was invented a few years after basketball, they actually tried to use a basketball as a volleyball first, but it hurt their hands. It was yeah. invented in a YMCA gym in Holyoke, Mass. Oh, that's interesting. But the guy actually knew the inventor of uh, basketball, uh, too. Uh, oh, man. That's the city odd. of champions is Brockton, Massachusetts, yeah. home of Rocky Marciano, the world's greatest Brockton? heavyweight champion, and um, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, another heavy middleweight champion. Mm. But the, but Put the answers in the chat, please. Yep. Mm. Brockton, huh? Brockton. Brockton. Never Brockton. heard of it. Okay. The I'm going to share the screen for the answer for number three. I can Don't find forget it. to share sound. Not the yep. video. Here, let me pause. Okay. The answer is the Bee Gees. I have to. I, I'm finding that I'm going to have. To, if you guys give any kind of video or i mean you know copyrighted stuff i have to pause oh. the recording because the beetle thing last time blocked oh my, yeah it blocked everything i wonder how long a song has to play before the algorithm will flag like three it seconds say, or no like go. That. Yeah. well you would think 30 seconds would be enough. no it's like oh, three okay. seconds in, in, like three. in my in my uh in my presentation about psychics and the harm in believing them i ended with stevie wonder uh, you know, singing his uh, famous song about uh, when you believe in superstition, you know, right? It went on for maybe 10 seconds and it got flagged, but it, it was just flagged that they inserted the copyright information into it. They didn't like say you could have post this. Well, the Beatles one is just like, it, 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 it depends on what the, flag. Depends on what the copyright owner wants. Yeah. Right. Well, 30 so seconds. For, number 30, three is the Bee Gees. 30 seconds is fair use. Yeah, thirty seconds should be. And okay. you and you and you can argue with YouTube. Yeah. Yep. Well, mine and blocked it. Number four, the answer is the John Hancock Tower. Yay. Uh, you got a uh, <laughs> Number five, the Cape Carter is cranberry juice and vodka. Oh, hey, Karen. Cranberry so, juice. Number six, if you if you get yeah, one of the ingredients right, do you get the uh, half no. I think What's we should go for cosmopolitan. Two, get them both. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds a lot like a Cosmo. Yes. Cranberry and vodka is a cosmopolitan? Yeah. Except no, in Massachusetts, they call it the no. Very Is there something else in it, maybe? A little bit of state flower is the main flower. Oh, my God, Karen! Oh. Yes, oh. Karen is brilliant. I love Karen. <laughs> if Romero would have had that. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Karen came up, came into the room late and said, is a Mayflower a real flower? I didn't I know like, there was such a thing. I didn't well, there is in Massachusetts. <laughs> also, the name of the boat. Good job, Karen. I'm so proud of you. Is that a real thing, or did they just make something up to be close? Well, when the really? when the it's ship landed, flower. it probably saw this common flower and said, "We're going to name it after a ship." Hmm. Right. Oh. Or at some time after that. You know, it's something. Well, I mean, that yeah, was the state the first when the state flower did. was adopted. Yeah, they were a little busy did. when they first landed. It is illegal to put. Tomatoes in Massachusetts clam chowder, because then but it becomes in, Manhattan clam chowder. But you didn't say in Massachusetts clam chowder. You just said clam chowder. So it's you're technically it's illegal to use tomatoes in clam chowder in Massachusetts. When you so say you technically, so you is it sort of just the like? You, is it so just Kevin, is it le literally we, legal? Alan, Alan, it, stop. No, Kevin, <laughs> can you serve Manhattan clam chowder anywhere in the state of Massachusetts? Sure. Right. Then, you, then the answer is no. 
<laughs> is but the question is is it technically illegal to use tomatoes and clam chowder in Massachusetts? Right. And and by um, the answer you just I, gave, I think the answer is no. I think yeah. you, could, no, you guys can argue this. According I think, to the website, no, no, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to agree because I'm going to agree because if you could go either way with this. It's a funny answer, so give yourself a point. But look oh. at look at the um, look at the uh, thing I put there. That's where yeah, it's kind of funny. It's an interesting weird fact that they they, they you say don't it's. Don't want to be arguing. <laughs> Apparently, you do. <laughs> that, that, some do. Okay, got that, it. That would make it very clear that it was that, that, technically illegal. And also, a Cosmo yeah. cocktail, in addition to vodka and cranberry, has Cointreau, which is a, mm. a citrus liqueur, and yeah. lime juice. Yes, but those aren't the main ingredients. Those are the. It, they are the main ingredients, but you wouldn't. You would have more than that. But not by volume. <laughs> it's two ingredients is all. All right, you guys. Two ingredients. Alan, you have to be on that mute. <clears throat> <laughs> the, um, the most no popular pressure. cookie is the chocolate chip cookie, also oh, known nice. as the Toll House cookie, invented right. at the Toll House in Whitman, Mass. Yay, Jamie's Yay. wife. Yay. I thought it was Oreo. <laughs> what? And we, we thought that for a while, too. Mm -hmm. The okay. president born in Massachusetts is George H.W. Bush. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I don't Good think anybody stuff. got that one. Oh, yeah. I should have realized yeah. that. We did. <laughs> Somebody got it? Yeah. Wow. And of course, number 10, uh, number 10, where everybody knows your name. Cheers. Cheers. That's right. Oh, so I got some drones. Chocolate I'm chip. I don't think any 10s. I don't think I got any zeros. So, so is everyone giving themselves a point for seven? Yes, I think, think so. Because so, it's, it's just, it's too weirdly. It was for fun, more or less. I was hoping that I didn't have to use all my questions. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I screwed up that, that good one. <laughs> we could definitely use the point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially all you Californians with the 90210. You never would have guessed that. Okay, so I just called up my, my New Jersey score sheet. I always keep the score of what the teams do. Let's see how this compares. We got 77888 on New 1, 7, Jersey. 7, 8, 8. Okay, so let's go through the rooms. So let's see if people room, know New Jersey this, or Massachusetts better. Great room <clears throat> name this time. Oh, great <clears throat> room name this time. Washington edition. That's Kevin's room, by the way. Oh, I know we did bad. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, oh, we didn't. Good. Five. It's not bad. Well, we'll find out in a minute. It's not bad. bad. It's not good. It's not bad. It's sort of in the middle. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, kind of in the middle. Contempt five. from Five's the great number of the season. middle. Contempt citations are us. Five. Okay, five also. Quiz games are safer than squid games. Or. Wow. Meet me up beyond the Carmen line. <laughs> Seven. Jeez. Oh. Okay. Mm. And then last but not yeah. least, 90 to 107, the new 30s. Seven. Also seven. Jeez. Wow. I, wow. I have five for a group. Um, this we got, we uh, the, well, you got the Bee Gees. Yeah. Jack Hatcom Tower, Toll House, oh. Cheers, and then the, the yes or no question. I thought we changed it to Prudential. Do we leave it with Hancock? I had us changing to Prudential also. Oh, oh okay. No. All right, that's that. Hi, Avi. We're losing, losing Avi early. Ready? Oh, no. Hi, Avi. Hi, Avi. Hi, Avi. Hi, Avi. Hi, Avi. Hi, Avi. Okay, Hi, child. so we, think does, that, does this mean New Jersey? Flower growing on Avi's head makes him tired or something. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> it's hard as it is. It's all the extra effort. It, takes to yeah. hold it up the energy that's being extracted from him yeah. rob, the roots. Is this <laughs> rob robert is this better than new jersey no as i said new jersey was double seven triple eight this was quite worse yeah i'm i'm not sure that it's all has to do with the state but it's the obscurity <laughs> of the question <laughs> well we even got a gimme so yeah. i see, see we can't even take revenge because if we do california there's going to be a ringer on every team <laughs> so, I know. Well, we could do California. Week. California was the first category I did in the first game we ever played. Really, um, we we can do California. The only make, game I did make the play. question so obscure that no one but the person that does it has, gets the answers. That's right. Good job, Kevin. I'm glad you did the state. I, I like. I hope that we eventually get through all the states. And if anybody who's writing a category wants to know what states we've done. There, every category we've ever done is on the Facebook invite 
thing. If you hit the more button, it'll have a breakdown list of all the categories that we've ever done. And that way you'll know if we've done a state or not. Not that you can't do it twice, but. You anyway. just pick a different questions. If you can, yeah. Good job. Okay, so next, next, it's Peggy. Where's Peggy? Where's my Peggy, Peggy? Peggy, you're up there in the I'm corner. here. She's there. I need power. Peggy. Okay, <laughs> she needs power. <laughs> Peggy's at a lake somewhere. You need no power, Peggy. Need more power. Wait a minute here. We need more power. Can I just soul. lose my power? I just lost my power. Who has the power? <laughs> Kevin, you need power. power. You got to stop the wasting. Now's a chance. Bump Susan. <laughs> Kevin, you have the power. Hail Alice, the new power. I don't know how to do anything. Who? who has the power? I still have it, but I don't know what to do. Okay, with. so make me the host, please. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> Go to where it says all of our names. Participants. Participants. Yeah, it's up in my right-hand corner, I think, at the screen by the... Yeah, you should be able to click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of my screen. I did this the other day, didn't I? Yes, did anyone did. notice that Richard has become the mad scientist? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's just for Susan. So that work? <laughs> are you finding it kevin yeah i just did make susan host got it i don't i'm not host hmm? I, I didn't get it we've had a coup it oh, i lost my power because it says yeah it, it, it appears to us you are it yeah. says susan gerbic host yeah mm -hmm. you should have it oh oh yeah, yeah there they are okay thank oh, you no. kevin i appreciate that okay now peggy i will make you co-host Oh my goodness, how did I do that? I'll try to give it back to you. No, <laughs> my goodness, that would have been really interesting. Okay, Peggy, please, dear, tell us something interesting. Well, we we'll see how y'all feel about it. I mentioned this category to Robin a while back and she, she said, ah, no. <laughs> well, we'll see. But Jeff or just tonight mentioned winter is coming. So tonight's category is oh, no. Game of Thrones. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Remember, yeah. Peggy, I am on your team. You always know <laughs> I will be on your team. Anybody writing a category, I will be the person wow. on your team filling in for you. Okay, I He's think there will be at least a few tens and maybe some, you know, I mean, if you get a team where nobody's seen it, but, um, and this is TV series, although most of the answers you would get if you'd read the books. Okay, that's hey, how I was going to ask if it well, was okay. book related trivia. Three, or, two, uh, four. <laughs> Very good. So I think there's only one question that might be a uh, TV series only. But okay, so now I have to get technological again. Question one is going to be copy, paste, enter. Question one, what do you say to respond to the term Valar Margulis, which means all men must die in high Valyrian? There is a multiple choice, A, B, C, or D, Margul Nike, Valar Dohiris, Rhaegar Dracaris, or Elios Valosa. So that is your list of choices. Number two is what was the name of Jon Snow's dire wolf? Number three is, what is the prominent symbol on the Lannister family sigil? Sigil is a crest, a family crest. Number four is Rick and Stark's death scene got a lot of criticism from fans of the TV series because he didn't do what to avoid getting killed at the Battle of the Bastards. 
he failed to save himself by trying to do something. There's a lot of debate on the internet about whether it would have worked. It's ridiculous. Number five is how many dragon eggs are given to Daenerys Targaryen as a wedding gift at the early part of the story? Number six is which Stark son died at the Red Wedding? Mm. This one's longer. This is a multiple choice. Which position on the King's Small Council is the closest advisor and makes the decisions in the king's absence. And then there's multiple choice for you. Paste. The queen regent, lord to the throne, master of the realm or hand of the king. This one's going to challenge me a little bit longer. I'm going to show you um, in the subsequent um, chat note four pictures I hope you'll have to open them up so one of the following four pictures is um, known as the Night King and the other four are not so I think can you all see that post can you open that post Night King picks everybody good all right. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Good. Question number nine. What is the location of Tywin Lannister's patricidal demise? Number 10 is, this is another multiple choice. What does Arya Stark call her sword? And there are a list of sword names coming up. And that's 10. And any questions before we send you away? Nope. I think it's straightforward. I hate it when they do multiple choice on something you know really well. Sorry, but I was trying to think <laughs> I of don't know it. People like well, Rob. Some of us are going to struggle and we need those multiple choices. Thank you, Carl. All I, right. had ex I had exactly, it was weird. Everyone that's a multiple choice, I knew easily without it. And all the other ones I have no freaking idea. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Them's the breaks. Okay, well, you're going away now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everything except one. You do? I have most of them. So. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away from the computer since you guys don't need me. But I think there's five dragon eggs. I think wasn't there? No. Is it? I got three. I had yes. I put three or four because I couldn't remember if one. I thought was there was awesome. five. There were three dragons, but I couldn't remember if there was sure. more than three eggs. I think they all sure. hatched. Three eggs. Okay, then yeah. we'll say three. And I think it's hand of the king. Yeah, yeah it's hand and of the king. The, I already yeah. had that. What well, was the answer to one? I couldn't remember what the response was. Okay, I'm gonna step away from the computer for a moment. <laughs> so, my, but I'm still I, recording, so just remember that. My thought was B, but I'm not certain of it i'm not certain it's definitely it's like, not c it's not whenever c. i hear another language is made up i just hear wah 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 and i don't yeah. know why why do we think it's not c because that's um the name of her brother and the name of her right. dragon yep the terrace okay so i can't remember the the reason why i was unsure on b because it has the exact same first word so i was all like eh. 
Oh, crap. Yeah, I, I'm like, Rob, like you, you hear foreign language and it's just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah, B I'm, makes sense to me. Well, because we'll you would back. say all men must die and it might mean all, all men, men something else. I like that one. Live forever or whatever. I, I, I would I would go with that one. What just, we're thinking B? Just for that reason. Yeah, right. like a response, an official response. And then we'll yeah. double check my answers. Ghost for yeah. number two, lion for number three. Yep. I went I went for serpentine, the fancy word. I wasn't sure if they just wanted like, you know, bob and weave yeah. or Anyone see the movie The In-Laws again? This has come up before, I think. Uh, the serpentine scene from The In-Laws? No, I don't remember that. Oh. Yeah, I think so. so wait, no, so no. what? What? Is, where was Rick and Stark's death? I don't remember. There. Six is it? Rob. What? Rob Stark? Yeah, I was like, I was totally blanking on his name. I'm like, okay, John. I'm like, what the heck? He's, What's the other? He's character? one of the Eternals now, too. Yep, he is. And his and his Game of Thrones brother has a part in it too. He isn't one of the Eternals, but he's in the movie. He's also being talked about as the new James Bond. No, that would be interesting. Um, Hand of the King, and then A for. I mean, some of these. Can someone share the uh, pictures? I didn't. I couldn't. I don't have word on this computer. Um, uh, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh. If you have it, that's probably easier. If not, I can screen share it. You guys ready? We got somebody going back already. Oh my God. We're almost done. Do we have nine? Peggy, hey, here's the question yeah, I would nine, ask. Nine was the toilet. Okay. I would ask what toilet. recently Emmy winner is known for yelling shame, shame at. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hannah Waddington. Yeah. Who was that in there? But everyone would have known it probably. Why would, they, why would somebody yell shame, shame? Oh, we That's can't go into that scene. right now. There was a scene in the uh, show. Oh. All right. Can you see the pictures now, Mike? Oh, yeah. That's an easy one. Yeah. That's, a. That's very easy. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Yeah. A. That's nope. A. I think I'm going to call you home. home. Okay. All right. Leave this room and then call them back. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that. I have to leave you'll, myself, huh? Yeah. You'll, you'll end up being <laughs> stuck if you don't. Anything? Any toilet? Really? That, yeah. But also in. Uh, and his son uh, was the one that shot him with a crossbow. Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure what they meant by location. Or into like, his son. Like what castle? I mean, I'm not quite sure what they meant. It was by in the big location. castle at the big capital city. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thought that's what they meant. Not my what, thought is room. because it happened when he was sitting on the toilet that it, that's you could say that on, a, on a toilet in the, what was the name of the castle. The Red Keep. The red Keep. In a, a, a toilet in the Red, yeah, keep, red keep in yeah. summer. What's the name of the city? Oh my goodness. King's Landing. What color was his underwear Landing. too while you were there? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to know what smock he was wearing? Go ahead, just pooping. All right, anything we didn't answer, we got everything. We're thinking B, hopefully we get one right. Or maybe he means he shot at the location, he shot him in the chest. <laughs> that could be. Oh my goodness. Was it a no. Tuesday? Stop. I can't, can I? Okay. Uh, We're not done. You'll need someone to send you back. Um, Peggy, Power. can you send me to my room? I can send you all no, to your room. Back. We, open the room. Back. Um, we need about room. two more minutes. When yeah. we're unable to view the link. Yeah, I got it in my computer. Right? I think oh, okay. if I get Thank into you. the room, I can show it. You could Thank copy you. the doc right. out of the chat there. Yeah. All right. What what room are you <laughs> in? Uh, Just send I'll everybody have, back. And send everybody back. You need to go. Yeah. go. Okay. Nope. I decline. <laughs> Declined. Was, it, was anyone else disappointed in the last season? I think oh, yeah. like everybody. Well, no, no, it's easier not. to say, was anybody not disappointed in the right. last season? I, I have the perfect picture for that. I don't know because I didn't see it. I heard all about it. Just like with you. I read. I saw the last. I spoiled it and learned all the answers so that I would never, ever watch it. <laughs> it was the second worst television I have ever seen. Oh, what was the first? Oh. 
the uh, final episode of the fifth season of the new Doctor Who. Oh, wow, that's really hard. Right. I know. There are that with all these words. nerds here who were all Doctor Who fans. I'm they pretty sure I could find worse television. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure I could. It's just the most that I've experienced. How about, how about the last episode? And I this is just from other people saying it because I never watched one episode of the series, but Lost. I never watched Lost. That was bad. It, it, last last it, season of Battlestar Galactica wasn't great either. Was, the last episode was not. Battlestar yeah. Galactica, yes. I watched the miniseries and then I decided I never wanted to watch any of it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do what I do, Caspian. Make sure you spoil it by reading all the... Oh, I did. And then yeah. I found out what the uh, conclusion of the show was and yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's game of thrones yeah. not, yeah. that's my favorite picture anytime people talk about game of thrones oh, yeah. i especially love how season six gets really good towards the end and then it just turns into a little kid <laughs> wow yeah. i will find the last seasons of game of thrones yeah. this was great it was which, okay. which, which ones was the one where the dragons went uh, the dragon went into the ice which season was that Probably, probably eight. Seven? It's like seven the eight. end of one of the years. I think it was the end of seven. End of, end seven. of seven. I think so too. Yeah. I, all and of I saw all that all one. of a sudden they could go down to the bottom and take it up with chains. Like, like what? Like what? It, it just and clearly they, seemed to me that the showrunners just they just wanted to be done just, and move on. They just ran ran out of steam and, then, and just, just well, rushed through the end. Not the that, showrunners. The George R. R. Martin, basically, I think when they started, he was like, oh, yeah, I got a couple more books left in the series, but go ahead and start the show because I'll yeah. be done with the books by right. the time you get up. And he never did. He never wrote well, the but they, they he were, still hasn't. They were talking with each other. And the whole reason why, at least the story that I read, is that why George R. R. Martin said OK, was they the, those two were the ones that actually came up with how it was going to end. Like they had the right idea on how it was going to end. Well, and he was in communication with him. He hadn't written the book yet, but he, you know, fleshed it out with them. I think they just, I don't know, they just rushed through it. Jeff, the last episode of Lost was so bad it made the entire series horrible. Yeah, and that's, that's why I've never good. watched it because no, I heard that it was a really great that's show. And I did hear the that. whole time we were promised by the showrunners, this is all going to make sense. Everything, this fine clockwork of mysteries mm -hmm. is all going to come well, together. And, yeah, and, so I, I and Battlestar that. Galactica, right? Battlestar the Galactica Cylons have a plan. The Cylons have a the plan. Whole series for uh, yeah, no. Well, yeah. Cas 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 the Cylons didn't have a plan either. That's okay. It's not important. I, I saw the very first episode of Game of Thrones and I said, this is freaking amazing. And that I never watched again. <laughs> it was really beautifully filmed, you know, with the mm -hmm. people and the yeah, snow. Awesome. And, and I'm like, this is I tried to read the books on tape and that was just too much just too too much is everybody back and are we ready for the answers sure. we are mm -hmm. yes all right is robin's team back yes robin's here okay so number one is b valar do Hyris, which yes. means all men must serve yes. <laughs> Bam. number Watch two is out. ghost so then you see Ghost as a baby. Mm -hmm. Little white baby. Little, little baby. little guy. Little pup. <laughs> Number three is the lion. Yes. That's their sigil. Number four is he didn't serpentine or a zigzag. Oh. The in-laws. I said the in-laws. Oh, the in -laws. I, somebody showed me that. It was, somebody here showed us that. It's that was probably me. Funny. What does yeah. that mean? Super that funny is. scene. Oh, that is such a funny oh, scene. Oh, because he's zigzag. Rick, Rick and Stark's favorite band, One Direction. <laughs> but by the way, is anyone here from Florida? No. Yeah. So when we visited Florida, one of the people said, "Okay, if, when, if one of those alligators comes out after you, you zigzag to run away from it." And I immediately Googled it. No, you don't zigzag. Yeah. That's the worst thing you could do because it's yeah. giving them more time to catch you. Right. But this is what everyone there seems to think. It, it seems to be a big problem in a lot of movies where some giant boulder or something is heading towards someone, and they're running straight away from it. Uh, right, in the same direction, the or towers falling. Right. Yeah. Right. Richard. Perpendicular. Yes. Yay, Richard. Keep, keep keep going. Number Yay, five Richard. is three eggs. Yes. Yes. 
Wait, is that Gwyneth well, Paltrow with her jade egg? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see where large she's going to shove it. Very very large size. It doesn't shove it anywhere. Number six is Rob Stark at the Red Wedding. Yeah, poor Rob. But also, also who dies is his wife here, yeah, his mother die. here, a and lot his of wolf die. died too. There's, there's, there's a funny, uh, there's a, oh God, I forgot the series. You need Number to die. Number seven is D, the Hand of the King. Number eight, that's the that's the geezer who is the Night King. Yes. So that was pretty much a giveaway, but... Maybe not for anybody. Number nine is the toilet. So that's Tywin Lannister dying on the toilet right there. The king died on the throne. Yeah. Really <laughs> Number 10 is needle, which was C. All right. Well, my team did well. <laughs> my team, I... Was there a reason that you uh, worded number nine the way you did? <laughs> if you knew what it was, you could sort of tell. <laughs> I mean, location of the patricidal demise, not where his dad died. I mean, <laughs> well, do you know the details on how he died? I know nothing about the show okay. other well, than he was it murdered, existed. and that's, that's why that's really she used fun. the word. Who may not have been a son. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. So here we go with the scores. Quiz games are safer than squid games. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was good. Okay. Contempt citations are us. Ten. That's my team. That's the team I was on too. And I left the room. Thank you, Peggy. Great, great room name. Give us the answer. Washington X edition. Nine. Okay, beam me up beyond the Carmen line. Nine. And 90 to 107, the new 30s. And I wrote the wrong letter, but uh, that, we knew the right answer. But I wrote the wrong letter. But I... Hold so, on, what was that, Bob? Doesn't well, matter. On number seven, I wrote the wrong letter down, but I, the, I, the, right, the answer was right. I just okay. missed it. I had, I had D. Was it, I think it was D. That's what I, wrote, I said. That's what I wrote down, but that's not well, what. Well, no, so we got to write that. I wrote, I wrote down D. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That, but that makes nine. So we are all tied up. Hopefully the third, third one will be much harder so that we can have some division between you guys. Because we're 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. We, we needed that round. Thanks, Peggy. Um, and on that note, I'm going out on a 10. Oh, oh. Go. Good. 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 And on a high note. Bye, Kelly. Night, Kelly. Good night, Kelly. Kelly. Night, Kelly. Okay, so let's go to break. Wait, let me take it. Oh, we should have had taken a picture. No. So let me take a photo right. really quick while you were still here. And oops. Okay. Snipping chill out. Okay, everybody ready to look at the camera and smile? Where's Mono tonight, by the way? I don't see him. I thought he said E. I thought she said E. Okay, here we go. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm right. too. Thanks for an enjoyable evening. Bye, Brian. Oh, bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. Take care, bye, Brian. Brian. Hey, you're on break. Go do something quick. Break time. When are you going to tell us about why you're going to be intimate with George Rob? I'll tell you when I come back to break. Okay. Oh, Mike. Uh, I found this snack in my Japanese snack box, and it is Mike popcorn. There you go. <laughs> this one is a particularly strange, which is it's yuzu and black pepper. So it'd be kind of similar to like a lemon black pepper popcorn. Ooh. It's very strange but also kind of addictive. But yeah, apparently it's a Frito-Lay brand that only exists in Japan. You went to Japan? Japanese has a lot of I didn't weird go to stuff. Japan. I get, a, I get a box of Japanese snacks. Oh. You can subscribe to Japanese snacks if you like.
At JapaneseSnacks.com. <laughs> uh, I do through Boksu. <laughs> I was joking. I mean, there probably is a JapaneseSnacks.com. Boksu? Boksu with two Ks. Boksu. Oh, Boksu. Yeah. And they, they send you an assortment every month of like different, like either seasonal variants or random, just a random themed <sighs> off of snacks. And they're real good. They're real different. <laughs> is what I will say. So it's like, if you're looking for something that's like yeah. different palette, like a expanding palette, it's really right. Yeah. That's interesting. And I bet Japan has like an incredible assortment and an array of snack choices that are. They are wild. Um, yeah. But the other thing is that I love their portion sizes, which is like, they will make a thing that's like just this big, like, and that's it. But it's like, it's also satisfying in being that big. So, you know, it's pretty nice to have like something that isn't, you know, like jumbo size, you know, chips and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, it's like, if you care about things like, you know, calorie counts and stuff, it's all super reasonable. <laughs> like, which is surprising because a lot of it is also like cookies and things. Mm. So, but they're very good. Want to see something cool? My son's in Korea. Right now? He found, and he found an ice cream place that sells ice cream that it's just like boxes and boxes and coolers and coolers full of ice cream that are really cheap. And he's so excited about it. Oh, really? Good. Tell, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. How do I do this? Tell him not to buy too much because if he goes deep in debt in Korea... Yeah, oh they make yeah, squid show. <laughs> the squid game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I I see now it. that I've spoiled it, I know, I know what's going on. See, so that's the way to do it. This is the place that you can buy all kinds of ice cream. Yeah, less than two. That's less than fifty cents, pretty much, for any of this ice cream. It's an unmanned Korean ice cream shop. <laughs> And you have all of these choices, and it's so cheap. You just go to like this credit card machine. Look, it's just so cheap. You go to a credit card machine after, and you buy it. <laughs> I just scooped like that puppy up. If I was up. a little kid seeing this, I would, I would shit my pants. Like I would actually shit my pants. <laughs> I'm shitting now when I'm 24. <laughs> it's too much. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, so that's normal. Too much it. Is he really related to you, Kevin? I mean, I can't believe it. That's my. Yeah. He played trivia with us a couple times. He played yeah. it up on uh, uh, on Facebook, so I guess he's a second lieutenant, Army Corps, Chemical Dragon. Oh, huh. well, you know, it's representing the, the U.S. Army, that but he's at an most... Air Force base in South Korea. Huh. Like, I'm look just who's coming to visit us. Who's got the lowest score? Who gets Adrian? Oh, we need Adrian. We lost Kelly, so. Well, yeah, I well, usually give it to the lowest scorer. Let's see, because we also <laughs> lost Avi. We, we lost Avi, like, too. We're, we're all we women. Are all men, yeah, we meeting. don't have any other yeah. women on our team except me. Everybody's making excuse, Adrian, of why <laughs> you should be on their team. Everybody wants you, Adrian. Oh, that's Everybody so wants you. Kelly or Avi probably with, with answering questions. I'll just giggle a lot. So, you know, that's, well, that's, that's, that's fun, fun too. <laughs> why? Your giggles are priceless. Giggling. Oh no, I'm gonna not be able to stop giggling. All so right. the, so, so we lost we lost a, a team member, Susan. Maybe actually no. Hadrian is no. going on quiz games are safer than squid games. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Deborah, Romero, Kyle, Jamie, and James. Because you guys like are a third team and everybody else, you're just one. See, I'm telling you, you gotta play this strategy. You go one point low for the first two rounds than everybody else, and then you get whoever comes in late, and then <laughs> so and you can come back. Has has anyone seen those recently? People have been putting up warnings about data mining. Oh, about like on Facebook where you they tell you not to answer those quizzes. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, I started doing that before while. people started doing that. Yeah, I think the, they, I thought that's been like a notice like a year ago or more. That's yeah. been, uh, that. That's, that's, that warning has been circulated for many years and it yeah. is a, a major security risk. That's how they, uh, they ask a lot of questions that allow them to get uh, your personal information. So, and so also, wonder, yeah. So everyone should remember if you hear, if you're like on Facebook and you hear about this website that you can go to and sit and answer a bunch of questions, don't mm -hmm. do that. Right. Are these like, the places like, if, like what like, is your favorite Hogwarts, which Hogwarts character are you, that one? Yeah, so, what was your okay. first car? So now, now that I've given that warning, let's all go back to answering a bunch of questions from this place on the internet we saw mm -hmm. from Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh, see what I did there? Because this uh, is like that. Not, How do we know that Susan isn't it's secretly a, dating? It's exactly, well, you know what? The, it's exactly the same, except for the ways in which it's different. But mm -hmm. you know what I well, you know what I say? Because I've had my brother and people say, what are you doing genealogy for and all that? Because people are going to know our mother's maiden name and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you actually an answer the questions honestly whenever you fill those things in. Well, that's because it's easier to remember the truth. No, it's easier yeah. to come up with something like um, one. One example is you use the the answer green. You lived on Green Street. Your your first teacher's last name was Green. Your mother's maiden name was Green. You know, you could do stuff like that. You could use some kind of um, come up with some kind of thing that doesn't really mean anything, but would answer mm -hmm. most questions. Yeah. What was your first car? That's a green. good idea. That's a really good idea. Right, but if you do that and then honestly. you forget what it is. <laughs> well, I don't, I, half the time I don't know. I remember Mark had a password thing. It was driving us crazy. The answer was, he was supposed to come up with was, where was your, where was it you were born or something like that? And his answer was Los Angeles. But the, he was talking to a woman on the phone because he couldn't get the password to go through. And it was infuriating because the answer he put was L dot A dot. And she would not accept Los Angeles. She would not accept L.A. And it, he had to say L dot A dot. A dot. And it was just kind of... stupid. But How did you like determine it, that was the need? Yeah. How did... It was uh, some bank thing he had to get into. But the point is, is that when you answer these questions, you're going to have to answer them correctly. So if you put down who was your first grade teacher, you're, you mm -hmm. might have answered Mrs. Smith. Or if you're dealing Smith or Joan Smith, and the answer and what you had originally put down was Smith or something. I mean, so it's so it's case sensitive. You have and to be able to know how pain. you answer the question. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to know exactly how you answer, answer the question. So that's why I'm saying come you up with some Toyota mnemonic. Camry for who your first teacher was. Camry. Yeah. <laughs> Cannon. I had to call my mom to find out who my Favorite first dog, teacher first was dog name Massachusetts. There's another you know what, risk. The, the, They've There's got you. They've got all your information anyway. I mean, they. Yes, sir. My phone listens to the things I say and the things I talk about, and I see ads for things that I mention within yeah. a few okay. minutes. What, James? But you're, you're not talking. To, you're you're talking about who, what uh, the the companies have. We're talking hackers who compile this information. Yeah. In uh, mass, yeah. and they use it to create security breaches, uh, create identity files on us, and we're not talking about you know kids. You know, eighteen-year-old kids sitting in their uh, mom's basement. We're talking about uh, major comp companies that are doing this. Yeah, uh, still, I think, I think, still, no one has managed to guess my password. I've never been hacked. No, but they, 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 they get all that stuff from our vaccines anyway. Yeah, that's true. Now that you got your, <laughs> when I did that category about coins with holes in them, I got several for, for months afterwards coin ads, bullion ads, buy gold, mm -hmm. buy silver, buy coins, yeah. over and over and over and over again. You know, the, the, the YouTube Bloody. algorithm really pisses me off because if you watch something just out of curiosity, like I watched uh, Phyllis Diller because I, I couldn't remember what she sounded like and all that. Oh and then you're in, in just Phyllis Diller and comedian things. It's like, look, I just wanted to watch one. You know, I watched a Cindy Lauper interview on Carson or something and, I, and it was like, okay, that's all I wanted to see. I don't want to ever see another Cindy Lauper or anything. But well, don't look up Norm, Norm uh the guy who just the died is adorable though. But the thing is, is that you can tell it. I don't, I'm not interested, but mm -hmm. you have to like do like that. 
go through all of them, not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested, it still feeds them to you. And yeah, if you yeah. go to an incognito tab, which is what the best way to do it, then I have premium uh, YouTube. Yeah. So I don't pay for commercials. Yeah. So if I go to an incognito tab, now I have to play for, pay for, I have That's commercials. Right, yeah. right. It's just, YouTube sucks. It's well, that great. algorithm, what you complain about is what people watch it for. Because if I, I don't get, you know, when I go in there, I want to see things that I'm interested in. So I don't get all this crap that people keep talking about. I get uh, videos that I'm interested in. And if I want to, if I'm getting a hit with the videos I'm not interested in, I start saying, send me, you know, I start hitting on videos more to my liking. Um, well, I'm I also very train it every damn time. Yeah. It's in okay. the emails. I've heard also that it's sometimes, in some cases, if you go to unsubscribe on an email or something like that, they're actually taking your information. They want to know that you looked at it and that they're, they're, right. they had no intent. There is no intention at all of unsubscribing you. So they sell you yeah, if, it's, if it's spam, if it's yeah. spam, it's something you right. didn't sign up for. If it's if spam, it, but if it's, it's about like a company, it's going to be, you know, because I think there's laws now that you have to have a yeah, unsubscribe yeah. opt out at the yeah. Yes, and, yeah. and, and you as will a company, be company. Correct. And as a company, if you send an email to yeah. that person again, they can actually sue you and they'll win. But yeah. usually to companies, here to the tune, I think, of a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. If you exist Canadian Canadian. <laughs> the, the thing I that I don't like math. is yeah. it seems like Facebook is now $2. over fifty percent sponsored things yeah. in your feed. Like, no, show me the people that I'm friends with. Show me their posts. I'm getting sick of you inserting over half of the my feed is filled with sponsored. My my posts. feed is nothing like 50% sponsored. I, I, I know the second post mm -hmm. is always sponsored. Same on Twitter. Yeah. The uh the thing is we gotta remember we're not paying for it. And what is it they always say? If you're not yep. paying, then you are hey. the you are the product. Yep. But let's come back from our break. Yeah. I, I think I heard that on data skeptic. <laughs> Go ahead. Kyle, tell us what's next oh. up on Data Skeptics. That's a nice segue into your, your show. Indeed, yeah, out now I'm talking to an interviewer or a researcher, sorry, who's studying education systems and how they can study the progression of students and hopefully uh, do some interventions to improve those that are struggling. So we talk about the different techniques and algorithms they use for that uh, this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. Richard Saunders? Who's I hear you have a TV podcast. On. I've Somebody's got the TV on in the background. Nope, stop now. Uh, yes, coming up on the next Skeptic Zone episode, 680 on the 17th of October, part one of a two-part interview with Dr. Carl Kruzelniski. Dr. Carl's going to be talking about his latest adventures on TikTok and COVID misinformation. <laughs> and next week, he's going to be looking at how Facebook and uh, other social media mine you for data for advertising revenue. There you go. Also coming up on the next show is the Book of Tim, the return of the Book of Tim with Tim Mendham. And we'll be looking in the Trovi archives at the Society for Psychical Research. Mm. All that and more on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. You know, pretty much every time you Google anything about that subject, you get the Society for Psychical Research. And I've never heard yep. that nerd psychical except for them. Yep, me too. That's that's the only use of the word. That's bizarre. That word I've, yeah. Bob, since you were there, can you mention again the talk that you're giving or uh, interview you're doing? Yes, I, I am lucky enough to, uh, this is the second interview I'm doing with John Delancey, Q of Star Trek and of a hell of a lot of other shows. Um, I did the first one for Skeptical Inquirer and this one is going to be live on Zoom, where we will in fact be taking questions from people on the session. And that's the Saturday. Or at least part of it. That's this Saturday at two o'clock uh, Eastern time. Four o'clock, uh, three o'clock our time, right? No, 11. What? <laughs> Where did you think I was? In Hawaii? Well, 11, I yeah, that's you went right. the wrong way. I don't know these it things. traveling faster than the speed of light. <laughs> I don't know these things. It's just so confusing. So um, I think almost the last thing we have is just a reminder to everybody here. I really hope you guys are going to um, and join in on Skeptical Convention. Conv convention. I'm helping plan this it's going to be a lot of fun it's a uh, we've done a lot of these conferences in the past i haven't helped they were live this is the first time i'm doing 
learning how to do something virtual, a more professional, long, bigger conference. So this I've learned a lot. And we have a lot of great speakers. There's Elizabeth Loftus, Paul Offit, Brett Marie Hermes. Ross Blotcher is going to show us how to start a cult. Maria Konakovia, who's one of the top poker players in the United States right now. Holy Cooley, Thomas Westbrook, Rachel Dunlap from the Australian Skeptics, who's living in Jackson Hole, Jackson Dunlop. Hole, Wyoming. Hmm? Lop. Dunlop. 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 And um, then there's also going to be two other things happening. And one of them is on Friday night. We're doing a Skeptics in the Pub. You don't have to purchase a ticket for that. That's going to be a like a virtual like this and we're going to be playing around where people can come in and talk in little tiny rooms we'll gather you in rooms and you'll be able to hang around and talk it's going to be kind of just a social affair that's <laughs> friday night saturday we start with a bunch of talks and uh, that's a paid thing it's not going to be on zoom i think it's going to be on Streamyard, but there are going to be breaks and there's going to be some exhibitors that you can go visit and hang out with the exhibitors in zoom and i know richard saunders is one yep. i'm going to be doing a gsow area i've got to get that paperwork taken care of and then on saturday night we're we're going to do skeptical trivia with susan so i know you know how to play this game i'm writing all the categories they're all done adrian has reviewed them and given them to her husband and son and they did okay yeah <laughs> And Adrian made some really great suggestions about the categories. It is skeptic related. So there will not be anything that is probably, it's going to be very different from what we've been doing. Put it that way. Right, Adrian, would you say yeah. that's fair to say? It, it's fair, but it was really fun. I hope so. so yeah, so I think. So, oh, yeah. Fun you don't night. have to be a longtime skeptic anyway. It, you know, it's just half of the time, half the, the most important part of this is socializing. It's just, this is going to end up turning out to be kind of some stuff so susan I've, I've got a task for you now mm, after this is over can you put on your recording hat and record me basically what you just said and send it to me i want to run it on the skeptics oh, my recording hat Ooh, yes. okay i can do that so well, thank what you. We're, yeah thank you and so that's saturday and then sunday we have more talks that's when paul offit and so on are going to be doing their talks brett marie hermes and also i am curating Sunday papers. And I've got five people who are doing Sunday talks. One of them is going to be speaking about GSOW. And one of them is going to be talking about Operation um, Onion Ring. So Ooh. they are talking had, about GSOW. Uh, it's going to be Allison Carlos Long, who who is brand kind of brand That's new. That's awesome. She's been around. She was the one that uh, put us on to Christiane Northrop. Yeah, she's the Her person who together. does. She's from Maine, and she yeah, does all great. the vaccine pages in Maine and all the politicians in Maine. So she's really interesting. So she's going to be doing it. She's never done anything like that before. So the whole idea with the Sunday papers is to kind of get people who usually don't do. You know, it's like they're, it's a stepping stone, their first first talk, that kind of thing. So I'm uh, curated, I'm, I'm, everything's recorded. So I'm going to, they're gonna play them. So I've been working with these people back and forth on, there's recording it over Zoom. It's been very interesting to say the least. <laughs> but that's Skeptical, please register. I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that. It's, it, it's a good cause. We've got great speakers. It's gonna be a well, lot. What's the fun. date again? It's going to be not this weekend coming up, but the weekend after that, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's $20 US, so 100,000 Canadian. <laughs> yeah, it's $20. <laughs> so you do not have to pay for, for um, trivia. You don't have to pay for the um, uh, events for um, the, the skeptics in the pub. Oh, and last but not least, we're doing Skeppardy. And I'm going to be one of the contestants on Skeppardy. And that's like Jeopardy, but it's skeptic related. Now, we're, it turns out we're going to record it early and then it's going to play on Sunday night. And I will be playing against George Robb and uh, Thomas Westbrook. So that's awesome. So that's why I have I have created these little um, angels and devils. Yeah, he's going to go here. I have to put wings on him. So if you can see. Can you oh. see? <laughs> And they've got fuzzy, he's got really fuzzy, fuzzy, um, because uh, he's really wearing this. This is a, this is a picture I took of George Robb. And then I have for, for Thomas Westbrook, I have Holy Kool-Aid. 
Can you guys see that? And I haven't decided what I'm going to put in as well. And that's how you can jinx them while you're playing? I don't know what it's for. It's just because I'm nuts. Because <laughs> I had these photos I found. I found that picture of uh, George Rob holding, standing there with his fuzzy slippers on, with his hands on his hips. And he's looking to the side, so he's going to be whispering in my, my ear. Anyway. <laughs> so I hope you guys will come and join. I'll remind you once again, because we'll be playing trivia on Thursday before this happens. And I need to take away the, the special powers away from um peggy and i see what i did is i hit make host that's what i did with, with kevin Ugh. okay all that talking and next up is kyle and hey, hey. i need to find you on the screen there you are thank you make co-host all hey right. everybody ready we're very close together so hopefully we got some categories that are going to really divide us up so yeah, I'd originally prepared the topic of the Kolatz conjecture. But oh, I was I worried. That. I'm ready for it. Well, I was worried someone else did it. So I oh, switched three, to something three similar. X plus one. Yeah, I gotcha. Our topic today is coconuts. <laughs> what what? Right. You were like looking at a list of things alphabetically and it was Colex coconuts. Oh, the, the levels to which these parallels exist is, is a lot of depth here. There's, I bet there's data on it somewhere. The picture will come into view. Okay, All right. so Alan, you're on it. So okay. number one. Three, two, um, <laughs> eight, zero. Two. All right, number one. The majority of coconuts are produced in developing nations in Asia with Indonesia. I don't know why it's the Indonesia with Indonesia, the Philippines, India, Brazil, and Sri Lanka being the world's biggest exporters. What percentage of coconuts come from Asia? Plus or minus 2.71828%. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Number two, coconuts are dupes, not nuts. Please provide an example of another dupe. You spelled it differently it's twice, which is the right, correct one. It's a droop. It's a droop. Thank you, droop. Sorry. All right. Number three. Under optimal weather conditions, which apparently is rare, a tree can produce up to 75 coconuts per year. That's your maximum. What is the mean average coconuts a tree can produce? Plus or minus four. Why do I have the sneaky feeling that the answers that we're going to be giving are going to be used somehow in some data or something? You never know. Told you the date. You're data mining here. Data mining. He's going to know my favorite coconut. This is this thing you're not supposed to participate in. Yeah. No number worries. four. It takes blank number of years to bear fruit. Uh, full fruit bearing actually takes three times this, but uh, just to get some fruit, how many years, plus or minus two years? All right, number five, my favorite. Following a 1984 study on injuries due to falling coconuts, exaggerated claims spread concerning the number of deaths by falling coconuts per year. A widely cited statistic, which is certainly false, is that there are a 150 coconut-related deaths per year. In what year was the last actual recorded death by coconut? In what year did it occur, according to Wikipedia? Plus or minus two years. All right. Number six, is it true or false? According to sciencekids.co.nz, coconut water can be substituted for blood plasma. True or false? And number seven, in 2011, the world record for fastest coconut piercing was set by Ho Ing Huai. His record was 12.15 seconds. How many coconuts did he pierce in this time? Plus or minus zero seconds. Or uh, zero coconuts, sorry. What, what is piercings? Oh, that's where um, you have like a machete kind of thing and you put the three holes in it. Okay. A coconut piercing. And then you use it, then you use it for bowling. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was for your ears or something. Well, at least if you're the Flintstones. That makes All sense. All right. 
Number eight, the pina colada is a cocktail made with cream of coconut or coconut milk. What are the other two key liquid ingredients? Number nine, you put the lime in the coconut and drink them both down. Is the line from this one chord song? Who is the artist? And correct spelling is required for this one. Oh, dear. Last but not least, the smoking point of coconut oil. Oh, I got to give you the answers too. The smoking point of coconut oil is greater than all but one of the oils below. Which one of these oils has a higher smoking point than coconut oil? And uh, here's another hint. Uh, the first option, unrefined peanut oil. You can get both refined and unrefined peanut oil. One is above and one is below. I'm not saying which is which, but uh, in if you think you know peanut oil, make sure you really know your peanut oil. All right, Kyle, I, I have to know this, this, why coconuts? Why not? Well, because it's so <laughs> odd. I was hoping it was a Marx Brothers category. On coconuts? It's a, no, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a Marx Brothers movie. You've got a lovely is, bunch of them? This is a great category. I love it. Well, it is, it's but very it's very interesting. Not the way. We should be all an even <laughs> kill here. I think we, I didn't know you were a coconut. But anyway, the point is, it's, it's great. It's unusual. I like that. Just. My father in law grew up on a coconut farm. Okay, there had to be a reason. There you go. Okay, that at least that's a reason. Got it. Hey, that's data mining. Somebody's got that. Write that down. Coconut, his father in law grew up on a coconut farm. Won't get you in my bank account, but it is a good factor. <laughs> it's a little known piece of history about Kyle. We did not know. All right. Do you want to send us to our rooms? I will. Kyle see. says as he's changing all of his passwords right now. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> quickly change your coconut. Open all rooms. There we go. Oh, I've got to add a couple people to rooms. All right. I'll be there in a minute. Kyle? Before mm -hmm. you disappear, yeah, yeah. Um, when you say it's extra virgin oil, or is that olive oil or some other kind, or just it any? is? Sorry, thank you. Extra virgin olive oil. I'll mass mail to make sure it's clear. So I am going to go to quiz shows are safer than squid shows. Thailand is ex extremely high. Um, the percent of coconuts produced in Asia, I thought it'd be. I thought it was like 80, I imagine 80%, it's very high, 80% or 70%. What do you think? I would say very high up I was thinking, you know, around 75. Oh, look, there's faith, hi faith. Hi, I'm going to okay. I mean, Thailand is very be... high. I mean, our island is amazing. I would is say 80%. Yeah. It would have to be with an E percent of it. 2.71828%. Um, so that's easy. Good. Philippines is huge. Our island is a major producer. We have monkeys. They have monkeys that go up to the uh, palm trees and pick off the coconuts. And then, <laughs> and then they drop heat. them on people and kill them, right? Actually, um, the, the biggest danger on our island is smashed windshields. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our, our house everywhere, we're surrounded by coconut trees. Uh -huh. And that's the danger is having one fall in your car as you're driving down the small, yeah. small street. Oh my God. I used to live on Kauai and there was a, uh, uh, these two palm trees that were, or two coconut trees that were leaning over and someone put a picnic table right under them. And I thought, what kind oh, of a oh. sick bastard put a <laughs> picnic table right under a coconut tree? It's not like they're getting any shade. Um, right. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, Asia, what would you say? Is it taking average, say 75%? I know number 10. 75%? 75, not 80. 75. I mean, 80, 80, 80, sounds, good. 80 sounds better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What question are we on? No, number one. Number one. Oh. It sounds good. I mean, does anybody know what a droop is? Yeah, I think passion fruit are droops. That sounds familiar. Oh. That's a major possibility. Yeah, I think makes I think I've heard that. We've had a category that had some coconut related stuff in it, or I was researching it, and that for our category. Yeah. No, we had um, passion vines on our by our house on the. Um, you know, mm -hmm. thing growing up. And I think I remember from, you know, way back in the distant mists of time that they were called droops. And that was funny because they kind of 
they hang down. They droop. Kind of, they droop. Yeah, we have. We we grow it. We grow we, on our property. We have huge vines of of passion fruit in yeah. our house. Yeah, yeah, and they're pretty flowers and everything. Oh, yeah. the flowers look like they're from Mars. Just beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to coconuts. Okay, so passion okay, coconuts, fruit. Coconuts. How many can they produce? Uh, <laughs> Like Seventy-five is rare, so that's the that's what say, like maybe twenty. And what is the average or the mean it's average? Half of that is 30, 35, No, or no. Um, I would say maybe twenty or twenty-five. Yeah, somewhere in that. But what's minus four? I want to say is twenty-one it, that that or twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. Really? That's that 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 low, like but Jamie, lower than half of it. Yeah, um, Jamie, what were you gonna say? Well, it says the the average number of per tree is that per year or. <laughs> Per year, yeah. 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 There's not that many coconuts on trees, right? How many How many coconuts on a typical tree? We'll just go outside. We'll just count them. Let's see. <laughs> well, let's see. Well, while you're doing that, we'll move on to number four. Um, yeah, it's not that It's not that many. How many years does it take for it to bear fruit? Well, in a, in a fruit tree, a normal fruit a tree that I've planted, it takes about four years for- yeah, But those trees aren't seedlings, Susan. Right. Those are, yeah. uh, they were grown. They were actually, your fruit trees are grown, they were on, grown grafted so on rootstock. It takes two days in Animal Crossing. So you, you have coconuts, <laughs> No, I don't have any coconuts, but I'm just thinking fruit trees. You're right. Once they're already and then, mature so, trees. Are... I mean, to start from an actual coconut to grow it into a tree that actually has coconuts. Oh, that's going to take it. like 20 years or something. I would think at least, 20, yeah. At least okay. 15 years. Oh, with 20. 20? It, it takes a long time. How many right. years yeah. until a until a coconut bears fruit? Twenty years or ten years? Shows and the then all, why is Jamie outside looking at coconut Let's trees? Let's see the coconut trees. <laughs> Show Here we go. Look at that on the internet. How long oh, did you say? Yeah. Look at that. How long did you say it took them to grow to bear fruit? Ten years. Twenty is what we were thinking. Yeah, because it's, we're talking from coconut. Yeah, but what were you saying, Jamie? Was I'd say sometime between 10 and 20 years. I would say 10 years. Amelia? But it says it's three times longer than the average fruit bearing tree, right? Three times as long. Full fruit bearing takes three times so 12. As long. So maybe like 25 or 30 years. Oh, it, really? it says it takes X number of years to bear fruit. Full fruit bearing takes three times as long. Oh, sorry. Which I is really. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the other way around. Fruit bearing yeah. is really at a. Uh, yeah, because then it would take six. So years. let's go with ten. Let's go. Let's go with ten. Okay. Yeah. So at least, 10, means at like least 30 at least ten years. minimum of ten years, absolute minimum. Yeah. But most of most of the um the coconut trees here have not that many, maybe seven or seven between seven and ten coconuts. But, but they might have seven or ten now, and some of them get harvested. And they reach and full fruit more. bearing in three. Yeah, I mean, over the course of the year. It's kind of like my Over lemon the, tree, you know, they, it just, it's yeah. continually bearing. But if I counted all the lemons in one year, they wouldn't all be on the tree at the same time. So that's, your, that's, your, that's your next task. I want to, I want to see a spreadsheet. With okay. The lemons. If there's like, <laughs> Number five. If there's like 10 right now, maybe like 30, just like distributing them out through yeah, the year. Throughout the year. Yeah. Yeah. Once they're mature and going. So when's the last time somebody got killed by a guy? Died from falling, the coconut falling on them. So, what was the last year that someone died from a fallen coconut? 1984. <laughs> I remember 1948, so that's about opposite, right? <laughs> 73. 2020, I mean, 2020 was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. And they yeah, all fell. Like, well, that's what Q would say. They're all dying from coconuts hitting them on the head. It's not COVID. See, it's people are dying. Life. People are dying from falling out of coconut trees because um, <laughs> worldwide, because they, they, they used to use, they use monkeys, they use monkeys to harvest coconuts. But the world made a big stink that it's cruel for monkeys to be used. So they have instead they stopped using monkeys, and now ties are running up the trees, and they're falling out of the trees and getting killed. Yeah. Oh, they're not okay. killing anybody on the ground. That's like yes, <laughs> yeah. So more people getting killed oh. from falling out of the trees versus the coconut on, on their heads. So when do we think the last recorded death by coconut? No idea. 78? I would say more recent than that. 96? Any year that you guys want to name is fine with me. 
Yeah. I bet you more people I'm, die of plague. I'm going 2015. <laughs> About the year 2000. 2000? Yeah. 2000. Okay. Sounds good. 2000. Go 2000. 2000. Yeah. I'm the outlier, okay. so. <laughs> Number six, I think, is false. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good yeah, substitute that's... for saline, probably. Saline. Well, yeah. it didn't yeah. say it was a good substitute. It just said it could be some anything could any liquid could be substituted. Well, it, it's, it's not going to work. But... You have to read between <laughs> the lines that it means something that's going to work. <laughs> Hopefully, that's what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, blood plasma to hydrate someone. Fastest huh? coconut piercing. So it means that the guy stabbing into a. No, oh, three holes. Hole. We used there to three use a nail up. and a hammer to do that. Yeah, it's probably like a pick. I mean, there are three holes. There are three dimples on top of a coconut. Right. So he's taking like an ice pick or something and stabbing those three. I wonder how many times he hits his hand. Yeah. He probably didn't, he, or he has chain mail gloves on. Chain mail gloves. Well, if he had like a, a little thing that had three prongs on it, he could be more efficient if, as long as the I don't think, you, no, I think that would make you less efficient because then you'd have to pull them out. So just, yeah, so you'd have to aim it too. Yeah. How about eight? Eight in 12 seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm just okay. trying to think one, two, three. I mean, he's probably good at it, right? Yeah. He's got the world record. I bet it's more than that. I bet it's like 20 something. I, I would think it would be some. You just, if you, if you just I, did, me. I did this 30, 30 times in like 12 seconds. Yeah, but you, it's three. So that's three 10, times. more or less. Right? So you would be seeing him go. Yeah, he's probably, the, you know, like those. So maybe like, like 60. Go, Let's go. Yeah, yeah he ha if he has them all like perfectly lined up, yeah, sitting yeah. there with the face up and they're like sturdy, and he's got a short machete. Yeah, he can probably yeah. do 20 or more. Yeah, because I've seen those um, world record videos. So do you, okay, well, okay. you watched coconut piercing He's... world videos, Romero? No. When are you training then? I'm glad I'm married. Okay, okay. no, Stop watching the, the coconut people. Okay, he's asking, um, the question is, what is the, the world's record? He holds the uh, world's record for fastest coconut piercings. So you're not going to have two variables. You're not going to have 12.15 seconds and a variable number of coconuts. You're gonna have a set number of coconuts and every all the records are gonna be, you know, however many how many times he said well, that one. Like, that way it's weird the way that's worded because his record was 12.15 seconds, which is like the world's record was set by no, he says Hulley. his record. Oh, right. Know. But like yeah. so he, he like so let's say the person before him stabbed 65 coconuts. And he surpassed doing 65 coconuts in 12 In the same five. amount of time. Yeah. But in a record, you can't have two variables. Yeah, that right. does make sense. So there sense. is a record. There's already a record number of coconuts. And, I'm right. say that and we just need to know what second. that record number of coconuts is. Yeah. Okay, so when, you look at, when you look at running records, you don't say, uh, you, know, ha, you know, have people, the world's record is set for someone who <laughs> ran 62.3 yards. In 12 so you're seconds. saying that the challenge was here's 30 coconuts. How fast can you pierce them? That, yeah, right, I agree. Yeah, so it's yeah, probably a number yeah. like so how, What do you think the set number of coconuts for? It's like, 100. It's like bull like riding. 10, you know? 10 coconuts? I'm thinking of uh, 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 round number like 10, 20, 30. I agree. So, the, so they say, uh, how fast can you pierce 10 coconuts? Right. Go, you know. Right. And they have 10 coconuts lined up on some kind of thing because they got to be all lined up. Let's go up. with 10. Let's go with 10. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. You don't think he can do it like if he has it's them a plus or minus zero? You're going to have I mean, to. I think it's all good. None coconut. of us here are pretty Plenty. confident with whatever this is. Number eight. How about a dozen, like 12, one per second? Oh, that's. That sounds uh, low. Let's do 12. Okay. Like let's do 12. <laughs> uh oh. All right, so pina coladas have rum in them, and what is the other? Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. Pineapple juice. There we go. Thank you. I've never had one. I've made I them have... before. We have cream of coconut in the refrigerator because I've tried them. I love the taste, food. but they make me feel sick. It tastes oh, like oh, sunscreen. Too sweet. Yeah, really too sweet. sweet. I don't really know sweet. who wrote the song. You know, lime in the coconut. Mon Mongo Jerry. Is his name. I don't oh. know how they spell it. How, what is it? Mongo Jerry. Mongo Jerry. Is it with a J or a G? G or I don't know. Is it R I? Is it R it's like Jerry? I don't Let's know. Let's just do J E R R Y. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I did. 
And number 10 is unrefined peanut oil. Well, you know that? Uh, yes. yes. I'm pretty sure peanut oil is always like the... Yeah. Peanut, you want to... Coconut oil is good if you're doing... Well, that's a flash point. Like actual pan frying. So like when I've made like seared lamb chops, you want to use coconut oil. Yeah. But when you're Not, doing deep frying at very high temperatures, you want that. You know, or stir fry. But is it uh, the refined peanut oil? He said one is below and one is over. I, right. Well, you don't want to cook in flaxseed oil, I don't think. Yeah, and you don't sesame you oil. One, you don't want to cook in that because of the flavor. So it's it's unrefined peanut oil. Because extra virgin olive oil. But it's is, about is smoking cold. point. It's not olive oil for sure. No, just yeah. smoking point. Well, extra virgin olive oil is a cold oil. You're not supposed to use it in cooking, which I found. And I do, and it's good, but you can't heat it up really hot. No, you can't. Yeah, it's a, it's supposed to be used for cold preparation. And and sesame oil is good for flavoring. Right, and you don't want to heat it to a high point because then it, no. it ruins it. So it's the unrefined peanut oil. Sounds good. I'm this pretty sure that this is this is a good category. We're all on the same. I think all teams probably are okay. on the same. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's a hard one, but it's very interesting. Yeah, it's not like uh, yeah. have you seen this movie? Yeah. Game well. trivia. It, this Hold is on. more like a. Yeah, who was the third Doctor Who or something? Yeah, this is, this <laughs> yeah. is something he would like know that. Different. Yeah, he would mm -hmm. know that. Okay, so are we back? Are we done? So what what was number one that we decided on? We decided eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. And did we? And for number three, I didn't get anything. Thirty. 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 Is it thirty? Okay. And mm -hmm. four was 10. Is that what we decided on? Yeah. Years? Mm -hmm. okay. And then five is 2000. Right. One is Space Odyssey. Do you think it's more than 10 years? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> well, is the, the lower end because he's like. It's when it can start to bear fruit. It doesn't mean it's reached full capacity. Yeah. When does it get its first coconut? Yeah. When, when does it bust its Get a coconut. You need to be a coconut. Oh. Hey. Look, it had a baby. Can't even, can't even go through a, uh, a car windshield. It just like bings on the car. Well, you know when they when you buy fresh coconuts, they have oh, a big old padded what? thing around them too. They're not like hard woody things. They're they're. You know, they've, been, they've, they've, they've done all the hard work for you. They did yeah, because it's like end up in the emergency. It's room. like at least an inch thick, and it's kind of foamy. I mean, it still hurt if you hit you on your head, but. Yeah. Because it's heavier, but not piece of not nobody, a piece of wood. nobody wants raw coconut. You want it like processed. Oh, I like yeah. raw coconut. Well, I'm talking about like you want it either shaved, cut up in pieces. You want oh, yeah. it like, separated into its parts. We made them into little, we made them into the um, I have the two halves, they're empty. So you go oh, oh, and you just go around oh, pretending you're you know Do you put them in your in no, your you go around pretending that you're the you're king. A horse. It's okay. from it's from Monty Python. Yeah. Thank you. I want a category in that now. <laughs> he won't That's watch it movie. with me. I've tried to make him watch Life of Brian, and he gets very, very disinterested quickly. Really, Life of Brian? Oh, terrific. How, how about how about uh, the Holy Grail? I Holy watched Grail it. Is silly. Oh my God! We've got do you That's remember? Do you remember back in like the late '90s when they had the screensavers of the flying coasters? Yeah, I think Python. so. Python, we had that in my house because my mom was obsessed. <laughs> okay, how's everybody doing, muted. Kyle? Are we ready to go back? You're mm -hmm. muted, Kyle. I can't hear you. Right, everybody's pretty much wrapped up. I think we can call it. I came back okay. to my original. Should I hit All the right, close so off? Now you could go to the main screen and then hit come close. back. Yeah, do it over there. Yeah. Do it over there. Uh, Don't do it in here. So Don't leave here it. and then, okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably pretty good. Uh, we're all right. Uh, it's hard to say, right? It's yeah, at least five. Let's just say. There we go. <laughs> okay. James, where are you hanging out these days? In the uh, Sacramento area. 
was Susan said you were traveling all over. Yeah, I was uh, all around the country, uh, back to New York State for a couple weeks uh, for work, and Ohio, Washington State for a long time. He's peanut oil too, though. Hmm. Yeah, and you're feeling okay food. now. Yeah, yeah, I'm all good. All the time, we have to check in the Chinese restaurant because they don't use peanut oil. Kevin, you're unmuted. Yep. My, my wife wanted arguing about sesame oil versus peanut oil. Can 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 we have like ten more seconds? <laughs> sure, I'll open the rooms. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Kevin, did you say she, regretfully she won't argue with me about something? No, no. I said she was. We were arguing about peanut oil versus sesame oil. Ah, she was arguing. Okay. I yeah, we were just like going back and forth, not really arguing. Yeah. Sesame is such a strong flavor, though. Like sesame oil adds a lot of flavor that peanut oil doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's great. I use it all we the time. We usually add mean, sesame like, oil at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, the one I don't like is canola oil. It's like tastes and smells fishy to me. Hmm. With what, sesame oil? No, canola. Yeah, yeah. They say sesame is added for flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and now there's toasted sesame oil too, which is even more flavorful. Yeah, very strong flavor in toasted sesame oil. We put it I, in our rice. I'll make a rice. whole batch of marinade for uh, Korean crosscut ribs. And it calls for cups of sugar, water, and soy sauce, and one cap full of sesame oil. Like that's as much sesame oil as you want in it. I put that much in our rice when I cook it. That's delicious. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to try that next time. I haven't done that. That's good. All right. Okay, we're back. Everybody's back. Everybody's back. back. All right. Back. Let's get straight away into it then. I heard a lot of uh, low-balled guesses on the production. It turns out over 90% oh. of oh. coconut production comes from Asia. Wow. Thank you, Richard. So question number two about name another droop. Uh, common examples include apricots, olives, loquats, peaches, plums, cherries, mangoes, pecans, and almas. Uh, I guess check wiki if you've got something not in my list there. Wow. Thank you. Passion fruit. Oh, on there? Uh, passion fruit is not listed, but I am not a biologist. Mm. Is it a stone fruit? Uh, they usually have a stone in the middle within the fleshy almonds or droops. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think passion fruit has that, does it? I don't know. That's what we, I was always told the ones we had growing in our house were, were droops, but maybe not. All right, on the question of uh, how many coconuts, I heard some good math being used to work this one out. Correct answer is 30. An average coconut tree produces 30 fruit per year. Wow. What, was, what was the good. tolerance plus or minus? Uh, plus or minus two on that. So range of five. Oh, we got it. Uh, per the USDA, uh, passion fruit is a, is a droop. Thank Ooh. you, James. Welcome. Yay, we got a point. All right. And then in terms of how long, it takes five to six years to bear fruit, while full fruit takes 15 years. Interesting. It was a plus or minus two. Deborah made a really good point because I was thinking of my fruit trees. And then she says, well, Susan, your fruit trees that you have in your backyard took about five years to produce. But you didn't start with a seed. You started with a tree. You can go. So you're saying three to eight for the range. So with the plus or minus two, yep, three to eight. Okay. All right, so I don't know if you guys knew this, but a skeptical trivia, it is widely believed that there are lots of deaths per year due to coconut, and it, yeah. is, not a, it is not true. Uh, the last recorded death uh, from a coconut falling and hitting someone was in 2013. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last recorded death on Wikipedia is not last recorded death. So. I'm sorry, thank you. Uh, of he says on Wikipedia. On Wikipedia. On the page. No, I'm agreeing, but I'm just coconut. clarifying what you just said. 
Because sure. as I mentioned in our group, if somebody stops caring about the page, there could be all sorts oh, of stuff in the news that yeah, doesn't go on the page. What was the what was the answer? 213. Two thirteen. Yep. So anywhere from twenty eleven to twenty fifteen. They're often <laughs> compare this to sharks at, uh, being killed by a shark. So, uh, so I've some, actually how many so sharks actually, get killed by coconuts though? <laughs> struck by lightning on a golf course. All right, next one. Uh, according to uh, kidscience.co.nz, yes, indeed, true. Coconut water can be used as a wow. substitute for blood plasma. What? I sourced it as a way of avoiding arguments. Very it is indeed good. the truth Very that good. you could go to that website and see that fact. Very good. All right. That is his own citation. And then next, in uh, 2011, the world record was set he was able to pierce four coconuts in 12.15 seconds. Oh man, we were just, we were. Wow. We thought I saw, he was a lot better at it. He was amazingly. <laughs> I saw mostly overestimates. Uh, watch one of these on YouTube and you'll see, yeah, it takes a little more time. Well, or, Romero or apparently spends his time watching coconuts piercing. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, I watch a uh, world record video. World record of coconut piercing videos. Yeah. His whole YouTube feed is full of it. YouTube keeps recommending me that. Once <laughs> <laughs> you start, you can't really. stop. How long yeah. does it take of coconut? Once once coconut gets into your feed, how long does it take to get to a QAnon uh, suggestion? I'll let you know next week. <laughs> and ask, Kev ask Kevin Bacon. Kevin, how many degrees of separation is it from coconuts to Q? And then on to the pina colada. I hear a lot of correct answers here. Rum, coconut milk, and pineapple juice. Yes. And then the next question. Uh, the requirement of spelling was meant to be a bit of a hint because, as uh, you may or may not know, Harry Nilsson is the artist who oh, wrote no. that song. What happened to that other guy? But we have to have it spelled exactly N-I-L-S-S-O-N. Huh? That's what he said. So how was the spelling a clue? Because he has an oddly spelled name. Yeah. So we were supposed to go, oh, it's not John Smith. It's something odd. Bummer. Darn. We missed it. We ever oh. yeah. we, we had two L's and one S. No? Yep. Everybody's Wrong. talking at you. Wrong. Yep. All right. Bummer. Smoking points of oils. Yeah, Mike. Sesame oil is the correct answer. Really? Um, really? Holy crap. Is that what we put? No. <laughs> now, now, if Faith it was, was refined so sure peanut oil, wouldn't that have been it? Faith isn't feeling good. That's why. Hmm. That one seemed to be universally pretty hard. I thought smoking points were more of a known thing. We so put every would. oil twice, and then I, we <laughs> came up with the wrong one. Well, I know. Well, everybody always recommends the dry stuff in really. peanut oil because it's got a high smoke point. Refined. But that would be refined to peanut oil. Know, yeah. Well, it doesn't it doesn't say in big letters on the package what whether it's refined or not. <laughs> and I don't think they sell the other both of them side by side either. Very good. So as I was saying in my group, this is a good category. Very good because we're almost every single one of us is on an even kill. You know, it's not like yeah, we all watch yes. any, Thank you, Kyle. Or be a fan of a certain <laughs> uh, music group or watch, read a specific book. This was like- Watch any TV or show. Yes. This, yeah, this could be- At all, in effort. As long as you've heard of coconuts, this is- Susan, Susan can I share a video? I don't You'll know have how to long turn off it? the recording for a second because it's got music in it. Okay, if it's quick, sure. Let me turn it off. Did I? No, I didn't. Everybody is everybody who's all the fans that are watching this are going to be just freaked out because they won't know what was in that little segment. <laughs> <laughs> all part of the Q conspiracy. Yes, it all is. Let's do our Q nut conspiracy. That was the part where we pulled oh. off our face masks and showed our lizards. <laughs> just long enough to take a nice <sighs> breath. Because of course we can't breathe through our 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 face Reptile. shields or whatever it is. All right. <sighs> okay, so let's go with um Quiz games are safer than squid games. That was the team that um, Mike, um, Kyle was on and that Adrian just joined. So how do we do? Three. 
No, four. Oh, four? <laughs> we got yeah. four. Okay. Uh, go oh, to wait, no, 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 you're right. You're right. Sorry, three. Three? Yeah, I, I was looking at the one. Well, we're up to 16. <laughs> wow. Uh, great room name this time, Washington edition. Five. Woo. I had hard. six. Contempt citations six? are what? We're disputed. Sorry, what was that? Six. Recount. One, two, one, two, four, six, eight, and nine. We didn't correct. Get... What? We got six one, points. One, two. We four. We didn't get four. We had seven. Was yeah, the last we number. said seven, seven and it's range. between and it's in the range. range. It's in the range. Seven well, is, let yeah, me stand. Seven is correct. correct. So six. the answer is Woo six. Six. Woo Woo wow. Sorry about that. Like yep, you're right. You're yeah, in the lead. for the round. Stop the count. Contempt citations are us. I hope they Five. lock him up. Five. Huh? I am dying <laughs> to see him in handcuffs, but I doubt it'll happen. I'll just have to go to dream it tonight. Beam me <laughs> up beyond the Carmen line. Five. Hmm. 90 to 107, the new 30s. Or I don't know. Wow, this was this was some I, hard questions. <clears throat> Look at that 2020, 16, 21, 21. Okay. Not sure Stop that that Kyle. helps split us up much. It didn't do a well. We weren't we weren't tied for first before that. Yeah, that's it definitely okay. slowed down the pace of the scoring. That category was just nuts. Oh, uh, <laughs> droopy, wasn't it? Technically it? droopy, yeah. It was I think droopy. it was a droopy category. Okay, so Robin. can Robin last night at Pizza was telling us that she had a category that, what was it you're telling everybody? You couldn't tell us what it was, but you said it's some category you've been working on. You're on mute. Um, so my category the category is zoology, and oh, she I have, pronounced it right. I'm so impressed. <laughs> well, I hope um, so. <laughs> what I have is a matching game, and I'm putting it in the chat right now. Um, I'm not even going to read out the questions. I'm just cutting and pasting, and we can go straight to our rooms. And you're going to match the critter in column A. Uh -huh. With its Latin name in column B. <laughs> Love it. And I've taken a couple of liberties with the, the common names because the first one is murder hornet. And I we all know it's a giant Asian hornet, but I called it a murder hornet. So um and then one of them is the robin. So Ooh. I actually need to I, I need to put in there that it's the American Robin, because you know there's a different robin in europe but i think even in australia they have a different one american robin well they're I'm wrong pretty sure robin is homo sapien <laughs> <laughs> and here on this call with us right now which which, which, which one there were numerous different robins you're talking about yeah. dick grayson or yeah uh, yeah jason todd yeah Williams. i know robin canton yeah robin canton yep i think now we call him red hood <laughs> okay so mm -hmm. i think i've got and my the hood guy I think I've got it all straightened out here. Let's see. Okay. So I'm just going to um, put these. Uh, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Are you really Robin Walsh? <laughs> I know. Yeah, Robin Walsh nabbit. said, gosh darn it. What is wrong with her? Wow, there's nabbit. something wrong here. Gee um, willikers. Gee willikers. There we go. Lord, oh, I, I knew it wasn't going to turn out. Oh my gosh. Okay. What, a mess. what the Sorry. hell let is me, that? Let me try. Okay. Let me try this again. Uh, I'm going to have to put them closer together, unfortunately. What? Well, just put one list by itself. Yeah, put one list. Pad, pad. It, it looks fine. So I don't know if people have the ability to do that. But, do uh, what? Do uh, what? All right, let's try. If you copy and paste it That's into your own. Yeah. Confirmed it'll document, work. It works fine. Okay, yeah. copy and paste it into your own. Run. Yeah. Notepad. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, Boom. Okay, sorry. okay, so match and uh, send two rooms. 
Okay, are you doing that? Uh, this is all about a big plot. Do I have to make the power? Experts on Zoom. Hmm? Wait, wait, wait. So, so how are you going to like? Because usually you put one, two, three, A, B, C. How are you going to read them when we do this? Uh, I'm going to read them. I'm not doing A and B and C. I'm going to say the murder hornet is this. Yeah. yeah that would be easier. So murder hornet would be one and raccoon would but be But I'm not going to say one. I'm going to say murder hornet is we'll, blah, blah, blah. We'll, all right. We'll manage. Be different. We'll manage. Okay. I like different. Okay. Go ahead, Robin. You send us to our rooms? Uh, I don't know how to send you to your room. Go to your breakout room. Little bottom button there. Open all rooms. Breakout rooms, okay? Open, open all, all rooms. rooms. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I didn't job. get a chance to mute everybody. I want to oh, mute. Oh, sorry. Uh, all right, go to your rooms. <laughs> well, you're in what room normally? Um... Oh, shoot, our name slips my mind. Um, Squid Games. Yeah, okay, there we are. Just a second. So who's the Latin expert in here? Is that one? Oh, Bob. Cool. A little bit. Yeah, the, maybe. The, the only one I know is that the American Robin is Turtus Migratorius. Because right. I always thought that was a real that was really funny that the Latin name for Robin starts with turd. <laughs> okay. And for us that can't copy and paste this onto uh, whatever it was that they were using, Notepad or whatever. Yeah, I'm writing it. Okay. You got this? Bottlenose Dolphin. Any chance the uh, the vampire bat is the Vespa? Only because they both start with V? No, Vespa is the wasp. Vespa means wasp. Oh. So, oh. The motor so that's going uh, so to be the, uh, the murder hornet? Yeah. Yeah. In the wasp family, yeah. That's Vespa, okay. You know, those Italian scooters with the big back end, they're called Vespas. Yeah, yeah, they are. Wasp, yeah. Wait, how many are there? There's, there's not 10. Yeah, they're... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, are they, where are all the rest of them? I, I only see... Uh... I have no idea, Alan. There are 10. No. There are 10. There are, there are 20. It's two columns of 10 each. Okay. The Eurasian hoopo is Upupa Epops. Oh, uh, so no, wait a second. No, I, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I got, we, we can't see what's on your screen. There are two lists of 10. Yeah, I got 10. So the, the hoopo is Upupa. Is who poopa? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm I'm on my phone. I'm not cheating. I'm texting with my daughter. No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm texting too. So guys, what's the what's the top? The, the, oh, it the, would never the, occur to anybody that we somebody in the Latin uh, the Latin column. What is the top name? Romeus Nova Hollandae. And what's the bottom? Turtus migratorius. Turtus migratorius. Okay. Let's just, just go maybe, through maybe them all just and come see. Up just written really weird because it's it's yeah for me it's, too, Alan. For me it's too. going between. It's going between. I was just looking between. And a walrus. Okay, I so am the, the walrus. So you're saying the so you're Ooh. saying the murder hornet is Vespa Mar um, Madariana. That makes sense because it's going to be Japanese. Uh, so, okay, uh, raccoon. What is the kitchen? Uh, before they were before they moved into your kitchen, <laughs> they had a Latin name. Uh, no idea. You said the Eurasian hoopy is a what? The upupa. It's the same word. Hupo upupa. It's it's oh. Upupa eops epops or whatever. The one the one next to vampire bat. Oh, okay. Upupa epops. That one? U P U P A? E P O P S. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the duck, duck billed, billed platypus. platypus. 
Ornithorhynchus anaticus, because Ornithorhynchus would be like bird nose and the anatic right. anatinous with the ducks. Right. And that, yeah, anaphobia or something, yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Sorry, so which one is, which? what's the common name for that last one that Bob just Duck said? Ductile platypus. Okay, okay, thank you. The ornithorhynchus. Yeah. Patinus, okay. Uh, the emu. Something desmodus rotundus. What's rotundus? Round. No, I mean, huh. which one? Yeah. yeah. Which one is, uh, yeah. Which one is Vampire bat, maybe? Walrus? Procyon lotor. Pycoderius eques. Okay, eques would be like a horse. So maybe that's the sea dragon, which is a kind of seahorse. Sea dragons are, it's a fancy seahorse. Yes, it is. So okay. FICO, FICO is, has to do with plants. So it's- Yeah, like, sure. Ficodorus yeah. equis, okay. Yep. So leafy sea dragon. Leafy sea dragon, so Ficodorus equis. Okay. Um, Bottlenose dolphin is flipper. Uh, which is somehow missing from the list. <laughs> we don't know how. Um, how about Terciops for the dolphin? Truncatus. Truncatus. So it's Trunca Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. So what's truncated? Truncatus would be like truncated. Yeah, so bottle as, as in short short nose. Think so? Okay. Sure. That's the uh, yeah. that's the straw I'm grasping I'm at. And I'm going to go with Desmundus rotundus is walrus. That's not uh, right. Rotundus? Yeah. yeah. Tercy ops. Ops is something to do with the, the eye. That would be, so that would be the raccoon then. We don't have anything for raccoon. Yeah. No, which, which, one, which one are you looking at, Bob? Oh, Percy Ops Percundus. Percy All these words are just all big blob. Yeah, no, Turdus Migratorius. Phycodorus. No, I got that one. The Pope of. We don't have the Dromaeus Nova Hollandae or whatever it's called. I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. We don't we don't know what that one is yet. Hollandaya. New and Holland. Latin name that we don't Nova have. Nova Holland Gaia would be New Holland. Where is New Holland? Yeah. Drome, uh, drome what's, what is drome? Drome, drome is like a drum and there. Can we no, go no, emo no, there? Because no. it's like, it kind of reminds me of a drum, Terry. Can we go with that one for emo? Um, I'm trying to think of. What is it? I, I think the raccoon is Procyon Lotor. Yeah, that might be. Uh, yeah. Having to do with the way it walks. Oh, there. Yes, we don't have that one yet. Those are the only two we have left is raccoon and emu and Procyon Lotor and Dromaeus, whatever, Holland. This looks popular, Robin. Those are the oh, only two Martin, Latin terms that we still like it. Those are the only two Latin words we still have left. So that uh, what Odobinus Rosmaris. Which one, sorry? So what do we have for Dromius Novo Hollandes? That's the emu. That's the emu, okay. So the Odo, Odo Venus Rosmaris. 
Leaves what? I think all these bloody words. Was that? Don't know. Was that the vampire bat? What do we have for vampire bat? Maybe that's the Odo Venus for Mars. Does that make sense? I'm trying to, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a, a cognate in the Latin. Yeah. What do we put for murder hornet? The Vespa one. Yeah, Vespa mandarina. Okay. Mandarinia. I'm trying to get these answers in here. Because Vespa is a wasp. Um, Eurasian hoop, hoop. Hoopy. That's, upo, that's upupa epop. Okay. The, the word hoopo and upupa, it's the same word. Okay, but we don't have anything for that one that you just. Which one? Uh, so, vampire bat. What do we have for vampire bat? So it's between. That's that Rosmaris one, I think. That's the only one that's left. Yeah, unless we're wrong about something. Yeah, unless we're wrong about that emu, maybe. Odo Venus Rosmaris. I'm looking for some meaning. Odo Venus. Huh. So I guess this means we have to get a, a, a even number because we're making them all match. Yeah, Odo Venus Rosemary. So we can't get just one wrong. We we have to get two. Right. Right. But we yeah, can unless get three. You, we unless can get you three. gambled by giving the same answer for two, knowing you'll get one wrong, but maybe you'll only right. get that one. I don't think she'd do that. So what do I'm we have in Duck Bill Platypus? That that's the got that. It's the the orny whatever. It's ornithorhynchus, which means bird nose, anatinus, which has to do with ducks. Ornithus. Duck ornithorhynchus. The rhynchus is the nose. Ornith is a bird. Are we bird comfortable with all our answers, though, guys? No. I have no idea. And I don't see an ornithus on here anywhere. It's right Ornith under raccoon, Susan. It's the, one that, it's the one associated with raccoon. Oh, God, I don't even know how to... Pronounce these things even slightly. So there are which one aren't you happy with, Leonard? Most of them. Okay. <laughs> and Emu is which one? We got uh Dromaeus Drome no yeah. Novi Novi Holland Holandii. So yeah, okay. do we want to do we want to switch the emu and the vampire bat? Does that one think you the dr dromaeus do you think actually instead of emu that one should be vampire bat does that make more sense to you it doesn't no. it is not to you no, no. i think I, I i'm happier with the dromaeus being the the emu okay uh but i'm not not at all happy with our vampire bat but i don't know which one's right me well, either what, nothing what says vampire we... bat to me uh oh uh, See, look at okay, so vampire bat. So yeah, nothing says vampire bat. What is Desmodus? That's walrus. What about that Desmodus rotundus? That that that's not vampire bat, eh? I don't know if it is or not. Um, we have it as walrus. We have that yeah. for walrus. So the question is: Is there anything better for walrus? Than no, the, the only reason makes sense for a walrus, though. It does, but Desmodus. I don't know why, but somehow that makes me think of. Death mod, um, mod, yeah, and that's why vampire. I don't know. I blood. I don't know. What do we have matching Odo Benis Rosmaris? Uh, I got, bat. I got that for vampire bat right now. You got that for vampire bat. And leafy sea dragon is which one? It's Phycodurus equus. Equus. 
Yeah, which means basically the plant horse. Oh, that would make yeah. sense. Yeah, because it's a sea dragon. Yeah. It's a so sea that, that leaves bottlenose dolphin, which we have it as. Dolphin tercia, whatever it is. I wasn't writing down the full words. Right. Ops is. Yeah, Terciop truncatus. Okay, the one for duckbill platypus right now. Yeah. No. Well, we have an answer for everything, so it looks good. Well, it looks well. Yeah, so what do we have for what do we, so for Terciops truncatus? We have bottomless dolphin, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Percy Ops, it's something to do with the eyes. Percy Ops. And would that not make you think of raccoon though? Raccoon eyes? No, nah, it doesn't. No? Nope. Yeah. But nothing else fits with the raccoon. Either. How right. about yeah, mask nothing. and not eyes? Yeah, but I don't see anything that or tails. The raccoons are known also for their bushy tails. Yeah, a lot well, of animals well, have them. Well, well, okay, so scion, I think. What's what's the what's the dinosaurs? They the dog tooth dinosaurs, cynodont, cynodonts, right? So thirty seconds. If that Procyon is early dog and a raccoon is a precursor, he's like a basal of uh, that's mammal. good, that's good logic. Yeah, so Procyon, so it's an early dog, and whatever. Oh, yeah, is. so that's what we have there, right? Lo loader, yeah. yeah. I did not like the book and I did not like the movie, so I don't just know. let you know that our team rocked. The oh, other people great. on my team rocked. <laughs> So you got two, you mean, right? Not as much as we rock. Uh, I don't know. We rock. She rocks. Oh, sorry. Is anybody she watching? Box. Is anybody watching um, Foundation? Yes. yes. I read the books. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I, it's, Leonard, it's a muted. nice. Leonard, I'm having a great deal of trouble watching it. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. So it's it's not the same story at all. Maybe at the core with the it foundation, it mutilates the same but story. E everything else is different, it, unless my memory is that bad from when I was a. No, teenager. no, it's it. There, right. there's there's a whole bunch of stuff, you know, name wise that's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but Sa Salvor Hardin every, was every, like the mayor, not the what the role is, right? Every detail right. is different. Right. Right. Was there for, anything at all about the clone kings? Was, it, was they make that up for this? It's a lot. It's a long time since I've read the books, but I don't remember it. Yeah. How about you, Richard? No, I don't remember that either, but it's a yeah. long time. That's so you it's, never know what you're going to come back if, to. If that, no, I, so I Googled it, and I didn't see anything quickly about that at all. So they made that whole thing up, and it's a major part of the story. It's very odd that they did that. Uh, I find the whole thing very odd. But the one thing they got right is I've always been saying we will never make a space elevator. And that's why. <laughs> gets, no, that's yes. that's completely wrong, but whatever. One one accident. Are we ready um, for our answers? It's it's easy Zion. to design a space elevator such that if there's an accident, it flies off of the space. Mm, yeah. Doesn't it depend where the damage is? No. Would you guys like a room? We're going to have to talk about the lack of gravity. Alan? I'm interested in this discussion. Yes, you are. <laughs> the answer. Well, so tall, the top, the geo. Yeah, really. That's a good answer. Only she somebody we could ask who's went into space. Kirk. We'll ask Captain <laughs> Kirk. If <laughs> 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 only we knew an astrophysicist. So, 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 Leonard, I'm not so good, like, in the. In the no, we. But what just wow, I mean is you'd lose a multi you, you would lose Rob, a multi trillion Rob, dollar stop. project. Rob, stop. Can we get the quit answers? Yeah, okay. I don't want to hear any more about foundation. We can do the answers. I will have just... to read it and spoil it so I don't ever have to watch it. <laughs> I'm getting through a lot more stuff this way. Okay. 
Oh, let me put a picture of the hoopoe in. Oh, why is that not put pasting? Ugh, I, hang on a second. Uh, copy image. Paste. You know, uh, images apparently won't paste into the no, chat. You so. can, you can anyway, the hoopoe is a really cool bird. One of the coolest birds ever. Sorry. Anyway, bird. okay. Yeah. The migrating so bird. I'm cool. Um, I, it's not a migratory bird. No, it's a it's a um, it's a kind of a backyard bird in India. It's very common. I've I've seen it on the lawn of the Taj Mahal, for example. If you if you go to the Taj Mahal ever, you'll see it. One frequently does. But they're they're very common in India. Anyway, okay. Murder hornet is Vespa Vespa mandarinia. Raccoon is Procyon lotor. The hoopoe is Upupa ipax. The duck-billed platypus is Ornithorhynchus. And Natinus. And um, so Ornithorhynchus is kind of like a bird bill. Uh, you could kind of yeah. suss that out from the Latin bird bill. Bird and, uh, and then uh, emu was a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a hint in there. Dromias Nove Hollandae, uh, New Holland is Australia. Of so, course. You know, now I see it. <laughs> and when I was in the in my own room listening to Richard, I was like, "Hey, you missed that one." It wasn't. Oh no, you're not in my room. But um, I, I did like, miss that one. Yep. I did miss that one. <laughs> you have a yes, I should have seen that. Oh yeah, it does, huh? Another yeah. hint is in the leafy sea dragon, uh, Phycodurus equis. So that's like a little horse. Oh. E Q U horse. Yeah. Hey, Why isn't it seahorse and not sea dragon? Uh, well, if you know what a leafy well, the sea leafy dragon is, sea dragon know, it's, is it's, it's, it's a seahorse. Sea yeah. yeah, it's a camouflaging seahorse. It's a type yeah. of sea horse. I'll take you to the aquarium here when you come out here. It's got yeah, the we most have, amazing we have at the Monterey aquarium. Amazing. I, I was at the Monterey aquarium. One of my aquarium. the coolest animals not ever. Forty, 40 years ago. It hasn't been 40 years. They also Has have it? one in the Chicago aquarium. Seems it unlikely. hasn't been there for 40 years. Let's go to Chicago. 30 years? Oh, when I visit Susan, yeah, we'll go 30. back, okay? 1983 it opened. Yeah, I remember it's got that time now. I know it because it was my one year anniversary of being married. Captain Cook was there. Yeah, he was. So it was one of our new Leonard, Where they he keep the nuclear there. vessels? No. no. <laughs> Across the bay in Alameda. That's in Alameda. Mm -hmm. Next. So Let's the vampire the bat, right vampire bat is um, this was the trick question is Desmodus rotundus. Oh, uh, rotundus. oh really? Everybody wanted to make that the walrus, but yeah, you no, know, it's oh, Desmodus geez, rotundus really? the walrus. as the vampire bat. I am the eggman. Um, the robin is Turtus migratorius. I used to have a license plate that said Turtus. Why? <laughs> Those California vanity plates. Had that for many years. Uh, bottlenose dolphin flipper is Terciops truncatus. Oh, good. And the wait, walrus. Wait, wait, say that. Say that. What? What? Terce. Terciops truncatus is the. Does no S? Did I mistype something? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, somebody. Does flipper count? Uh, flipper. Flipper is a Terciops truncatus. <laughs> I did. I typed in this off. Okay. And the last one, Walrus, Walrus Odo Venus Rosemara. So it's flipped from what we had with them. Mm. I think a lot of people are going to get eights. <laughs> yeah, we flipped it with the. Uh, uh, no. Not, not our team. Not. <laughs> You're doing it again, Robin. Why does it I, I that? saw quite a few people getting really good scores. I was coming in the rooms going, oh, you guys are doing good. <laughs> you obviously didn't come into our room. <laughs> Okay, so going to scores, the I guess I'll just share so that you guys can see as we go here where we're at now. We're getting farther along. So we have a 16, a tie for 20, and a tie for 21. So let's see if this broke it up a little bit more. Quiz games are safer than squid games. Four. Ooh. Oh, it's broken, all right. Yeah, Ooh. that death rate is much for a lot. Okay, or so is not. They were tied for second. <laughs> if we stop right now. Great room name this time. 
We got six. Okay, contempt citations are us. Has anybody seen if he's been booked yet? Lock uh, him up. Five. Five. Is that what you have, Rob? Yes. Gosh, I thought we'd see a lot more than that. Like yeah, I just heard somebody predicting eight. Yeah. I thought it would be. Beam me up so beyond the Carmen line. Eight. eight. That's what I thought. Ooh. Somebody got an eight. Wow. Yeah, because we just had those two flush. Somebody knew some okay. Latin. 90 to 107. The new also 30. Also eight. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> it did a little bit there. So we got a little bit. We're going okay. to our own teammate round. It's going to oh, the boy. bonus to see who's going to. We're going to some tiebreaker here. Yeah, I okay. muted. Yeah. We, we do have Robin. tiebreakers. Very good. So. If it's a tie, we both hold the cup up. So I want you to know that next week I have no one scheduled. So oh, I thought I said last. I thought you put me on for last I'll volunteer. Week. Caspian and Rob. Greg Cas wants to do another one, but it won't be till the following week. Who? Greg. Oh, <laughs> different place. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget that we're going to have an extra trivia game that week because I will be doing it on a Saturday. Ah. Don't forget. So you're going to oh, need you extra. You won't be. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so that will be the next one. So, Rob Caspian. I can do one. Okay. And a bonus and another one. Okay, I'll let you think. Let's let Gal go and do her her thingy. I can do a regular round. If you can't find someone to do a bonus, I could do the bonus. Okay. So, I Gail, let, me give, let me give you permissions. Okay, are you ready for I already me? did give you permissions. When did I do that? Have you had them all this time? I don't know. I didn't like look. It, she had the ruby slippers all this time. All this time, she was able to go home at any point. All she had to do she was- She didn't even know it. <laughs> she didn't even know I it. guess it must be, I didn't click them properly, right? Yes. That must be true. Right. Okay. okay. Um, as I was explaining to my team, um, I had a different topic in, involved when I started and changed my mind when I saw that I looked up the right answers to the topic I thought I'd use. And I will show you those after we're done to show you why I was afraid we'd get, nobody would get anything right. So what I ended up with was this one. I'm going to give you the top 15 busiest US airports, the international airports in the US that have the most traffic pre-COVID because these, these numbers, COVID probably has disrupted some of this. But these are the most passengers. And let me immediately say, before I show you what we're doing, this is based on the uh, number of people going through. This isn't necessarily their destination. For some of these people, this is a pass through, right? So you can see that the hubs get more people. It, it's, my chart didn't copy very well, but these are the top 15 airports. And what I'm asking you to do for the, for the question is those are all correct, and those are in fact the top 15, but the airports are all identified using a three letter code. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, I'm gonna give you the oh. three letter codes for these airports. And what I'm going to ask you to do is identify the airport based on its code. Oh, cool. Some of them you will probably know, especially if you travel a lot. And some of them might be surprising. So it's a matching. Match those 15 top airports with those codes. However, because we only need 10, you have to decide which 10 you're going to count. Oh. Okay. So you decide the 10 that you think you have right. OK? Any questions? I like it. I love it. Okay. We already won that one. Jesus. <laughs> OK. OK. Oh, wow. Thank you for thinking of me being on this team. I, I think I know some of these. 
I'm sure you know at least one, one of them. them. I, 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 <laughs> I, I book all the travel when we book, so this will be Oh, fun. well, then you know a lot of them. These are I all American. Might. Okay, as long as they're not some really crazy places I've never been. All right, okay, yeah. here we go. Uh, do you want to send them to the rooms? I don't no? know how to send them to the rooms. You tell me how to Go to breakout rooms. Mute us, please. Go to breakout rooms? Uh-huh. Okay. And open all rooms? Open all rooms. I'm going to make sure everybody is Zoom amazing. We're going to stop doing so much for you guys and let you guys do it. It's the goal. Train you up right. This pandemic's over. <laughs> Bill will say, I know how to use Zoom so good. By the way, good category choice, Gail, because MCO is Orlando. Did I share correctly? Yes, you did. Okay. Oh, you already got these, Orlando. I travel a lot. Oh, IAH. So can we delete the ones that we have already? Uh... Oh, are we already done? That's not fair. I knew these. You should just let me do it just for the hell of it, because I could have done them. I don't know IAH. Which one is IAH? Which one? Which ones is are that O'Hare? Not... Illinois? O'Hare? Is that O'Hare? That yeah, would make sense. Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. Sure. And that would make ORD Houston. Is it really? Could be. Sure. Okay. I've never been there, so I don't know. That's uh, that's the one I would not have guessed. What now? Like the thing is, is I've flown through most of these. Like I've flown through Dallas, Fort Worth, and Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta, yeah, SFO. Yep, Phoenix, Phoenix, and Miami. Seattle, of course. I was just there in May. Yep. Las Vegas, God, I've been there bunches of times. Denver, um, yeah, definitely. So let me think about that. Houston, O R D. We only need ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know that MCO is Orlando because I've been doing a lot of travel requests for other people. Oh, and they're going to Disney World. No, they're going coming out of Orlando. Just leaving mm -hmm. Disneyland, Disney World. It has nothing to do with Disneyland. I think IAH is Disney Disney World. It has nothing to do with Disney. Really? Yep. What are they doing over there then? They live there. Yeah. You have people who live in Disney. Um, in Disney. I have. We have people who live near Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. But yeah, the question marks are all the ones that I haven't actually been to. Like, I actually haven't flown through O'Hare, which is surprising because I've heard about it and I know a lot of people fly through it, but I've never flown through it. So, but yeah, I've been, I've been a lot of these places. I'm surprised that she didn't pick more international airports. So She probably thought this was going to be hard as it is, but... It would have been funny if she picked some of the uh, some of the Canadian airports. Oh, well, she was doing just top 15 busiest U.S. airports. Yeah, I she could have just done world airports. That would have been hard. Yeah, like I the think you have Canadian ones are all funny because they all begin with a Y. Who? All of the Canadian ones. Their three letter code begins with a Y, I believe. Toronto's what? airport is Y Y Z. Why? Yeah. Why get it? Why? Why? I don't because know. Because people say, why? Why are you, is it all start with a why? Maybe, maybe they were like, we're going to make it all like, it's all Yukon something. But like, YYZ doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you get to YYZ? <laughs> I, so, I think you have, I, don't know. I think you have Houston and O'Hare reversed. I'd believe that. But we also only need 10, right? Right, right. I'm just, so I'm just we, saying, we can put these make the sure those aren't ones button. we're depending on to be our 10. Yeah. PHX, SFO, ATL, DFW, LAX. Oh, I've got all three kitties. My, my coworkers would kill me if I got SFO wrong because we have data centers in SFO. Like all, like this is the other reason why I know all of these is because- Oh, Robin says she can't get into her room. Like all Amazon buildings, their official designation is based off of their airport code. Where's Robin? I'll be right back. 
Susan, I'm stuck here because I, I, I was in a certain room at the end and I got put back there and it wasn't my room. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to hear. Let me get my violin out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the name of your team? Um, let's see. Uh, Are the Beam Me Up Beyond, beyond the Carmen line? Yes, right? that one. That one. Okay. Beam Me Up. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. D-National, that would make sense. I think I've been to half of these airports. I want to go to Vegas. Why? I mean, I went to Vegas. Because there's people that people go and they just kind of hang out and it'd be fun. Why can't you hang out in some place better than because Vegas? Most people, because you can get people to go to Vegas. It's cheap and everything's cheap over there. Um, I don't think I've ever been to JFK. Let me think. I have been JFK. to JFK and oh. the trolley coming out of JFK desperately needs some air fresheners. Yeah, also JFK is pretty small as I remember. I've also SJC been- SJC is the one, is um, Santa Fe. And they have the best soap in the bathrooms. Newark. I'd, I'd go there just to get the airport in Newark is the saddest airport I've ever seen. Newark? Newark, New Jersey. I've never been there, thankfully. It looks like a decaying mall. It might be. <laughs> Denver, I've spent hours there because one time we, we had to turn our car in. We were hours before the, the flight. So Mark and I just wandered around to pictures. There's a lot of things to see in the Denver airport, especially conspiracy theory stuff like you know with the grays living and they eat people and the and all that kind of stuff it's really good i've been One to whole. the airport on at hilo on the big island of hawaii during a during a, a storm during a hurricane and it's that was also pretty sad of course it's a very small airport so i've been to phoenix i never been to, oh i didn't been. do miami Land of Susan, i think we're up to the one minute seems like everybody's okay almost done. so go out into the main room okay and then hit the breakout rooms again and say close all rooms and it'll it'll just do the the mm -hmm. minute on, on automatically yeah. okay phoenix and denver are airports i've been to even though i've never been to those cities yep same Denver has really got some nice stuff in it yeah denver's Denver's a big cowboy. airport. It's really sprawling. Like you have to, like moving walkways everywhere. Yeah. Um, I get. I'm confused of which airport is which. I've Can never been outside it? the airport. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have. I haven't been outside the airport actually. And and where? Denver. Flown through it many times, but never oh, been it's, outside it's the really, airport. It's really. It's a. It's a. I've stayed there several times it's got a lot of nice stuff there it's really nice downtown very clean i've heard i've never nice even technically i've never been in the airport itself at phoenix i've just been on a plane that landed there and then took off again <laughs> <laughs> i remember when we went to hawaii caspian you were eight or nine and our plane landed in maui oh, wait wait i think we have 11 so which one do we Take off the list. I mean, they're all Orlando. Right. Okay. No, I'm very confident of Orlando because I've been looking at it. Well, lot. anyone you want, Miami, because we know more. Miami's right, and they're all right. Just yeah, yeah take off whatever. Whatever. I'll take off Denver. Okay. The one that I didn't. Okay, I think is everybody back. Yeah, it seemed. Um, I'm yet. predicting ten. So. Across the board. Yeah. We should do mono rules. Good <laughs> up. Oh. oh. Does it work? There's, there, there, there's not enough of them to do mono yeah, rules. Yeah, that's really impossible. Be a bunch of that, that, would, that would be like Squid Game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that this was too easy because I think it you all got easy. it. Yeah, yeah, it would have been, been it would have been a lot harder if you wanted to do that by not putting the name of the uh, 
airport at all just say match it to the city or something like that oh, yeah that yeah that yeah, yeah. yeah. would have been a bunch of nines and tens okay there's the answers and i i listed the airports 16 through 25 just if you were interested new york new jersey minneapolis oh i've been to minneapolis a bunch of times boston i was in detroit one time by accident kind of so what what was really great about this category is that the conversations we were able to have in our room about where we've been and what you know we, describing each airport and uh, what we thought of it and how we let uh, like uh, Carl was saying he landed in Phoenix but he's never been to Phoenix you know he landed there he well I landed there. in Detroit and I've never been to Detroit yeah so and, so it's good Cleveland is not here at all. Makes me remember the old days when we could actually travel easily. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's not going to do a very good job of changing the, the time. Back in the before so times. I have a feeling we're going to see all the yeah, before times. The before times. Are you guys looking to make sure we got them all right? Such days never existed. <laughs> mythology. Before we do the final score, if you, if you've all had a chance to look, because yep. I want to show you something else. The, the original topic I was going to do was going to be international office. Oh, that would really oh. hard. No, oh, that would have been so good. Uh, especially if there were Canadian <laughs> ones, which make very little sense. Well, well look at these mm -hmm. are the top 25 international airports. Look That's at them. Oh, really yeah. hard. I would have had three. Maybe. Very hard. <laughs> Maybe three. I Maybe. was absolutely One. shocked at how many of them are in China. Two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That mm -hmm. makes sense. One after another in China. Yeah. There are very few Americans, four or five American yeah. ones there, and yeah. only one from other countries. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine. Five. Well, Heathrow, Mexico City. Yeah. Heathrow makes sense. What's the first yeah, one up there? This, this would have been a great, uh, great category. Mm -hmm. Now that we have, so I would have had five. Yeah, that's what I was afraid was going to happen, was that that people weren't going to know the answers. Well, that's all right. Did it matter to anyone yeah. else tonight? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, I, I have I, an I airport. I never even tonight. heard of most of these airports. Yeah, let's see. Yunnan? China, yeah. <clears throat> oh, look, there's North Carolina. I've never yeah. been there. CLT. Oh. Why are that? Hey, um, Charlotte. Canadian? <laughs> do, Canadian do Day. Yes. I wanted to, Maybe. they were saying that all of the Canadian airports start with Y, and I want to know why. That's just wrong, because it, it's wrong. No, yeah. it's correct. I just looked it up. Why all Canadian airports start with, start with Y. Why not? All? Yeah. Yeah, they all start with Y. Like, Calgary is YYC, and Y is all Canadian airports start with Y, then the middle Y is just because it's cool, and the C stands for Calgary. There's actually not a lot of, we were looking at uh, Toronto is YYZ, Z. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the US. The, the day that yes, but it's US. a Canadian airport, therefore YYZ. Z. <laughs> and you, I, one of the things I learned while doing this is, you know why airports end up with an X on the end, like LAX, YX? Yep. Those, were, those are the oldest airports and they only had two letters to begin with. So when they changed the code to be three letters, they just stuck an X on the end of all the two letter names. Oh, so it was LA. And that's why it was Jill, LA. Jill, could you, Jill, could you Jill, could you scroll down, please? Sure. Thank you. Mexico was just be checking different. our score still. Oh, we got 10. Oh, good. Oh, no, we, we did. Okay. okay. We Who got 15. Get? I think everybody got 10, didn't they? Yeah, we got 15. I'm yeah. one of those people I have to check. <laughs> Sorry. Let her check. It's fine. <laughs> Is the X on Mexico because it was an old one, or is it M E X? If it Mexico. ends in an X, if X is the last letter, it's probably because they just added X's to the end of the two letters. Even that's for Mexico, but that's but that's that would be for Why United States. Why would it be M X X? Yeah, um, Mexico City is in not in the United States, so it's probably. It, yeah. Not American, probably. I'm these are guessing, yeah, these are not these are not US codes. So they were two and two letters wasn't oh. sufficient when they had more airports. Does anybody so know why MCO the ones that were two letters? Do you know why Orlando is MCO? Is it the county? What count what do you know what county it's in? Um let's see. Yeah, some of them make sense and some of them make no sense at all. I mean, where would you be if you went to PVD? Port of 
PVD. Providence? That's right. Providence. Yep. It's actually Warwick, Rhode Island, but they call it Providence. Yeah. So it's MCO because it's McCoy Air Force Base. Yeah. So it's Ben. Uh, yeah, the I logical the, MC ORL is Orlando Executive Airport. Oh. Oh. So, so Mike oh. put a really interesting uh, uh, link in there about Canada, Canada's Y, and it, it's the same thing with the X, because they used to be two letter. So Canada put the Y at the beginning instead of putting like in America, we put the X at the end. Well, then well, why says, in the world would theory. Toronto be YYZ? I know why that is because YZ was the location of the train station, the coordinates in Morse code. How do you like that? Whoa! Oh. He put you in your place, litter, Mr. Physicist. Mind blown. Adrian wow. rushed to create that, that, that is definitely something worth checking. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know? I would agree. <laughs> does anybody know who I haven't already told why uh, O'Hare is O R D? Does anybody else know that? Story? I'd like to know, know that. I don't know. It used to be Orchard, Orchard Airport, mm. and uh. they they renamed it after a Butch O'Hare who was a World War II. He was a pilot. I guess he was coming back to his aircraft carrier, and they mistook him for an enemy plane and shot him down so they mm. renamed it o'hare but they kept the old uh code so that's oh cool. that's interesting that's oh interesting so if you get shot down by your own people in friendly fire you can get an airport named after you no nice. they won't mm. the mm. respire on them. that does anybody know why newark uh which is not a new york airport to new york's airport is ewr no neither do Here. i I'm hoping somebody knew. Is any is everybody check these that need to check them? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the main screen here. Interesting category. So why wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is Newark EWR? Oh, I really don't know. It's called it's called Newark Li New, Newark Liberty International Airport. Yeah, none of those I, letters. I just flew out of there like a couple yeah. weeks ago. I have no it only idea. started getting called Liberty recently. <laughs> that is true. It used to just be uh the, the other words but still nothing that's an ewr so i don't know mm. interesting okay mm. oh my gosh should i ask you your scores or should i say anybody not get 10 yeah 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 that's a good that's a good way to do it we anybody got 20 not get 10? somehow but i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so is it 10 all the way across yeah yeah i think so oh uh, so we know who the winner is then huh yeah, right. there there is is if we went to yeah. all those airports, mm. you have been to all those airports. Have you seen one? Wow, nope, we need tiebreaker. Ooh. <laughs> we, we, we haven't done tiebreakers in the past. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. to come up with a tiebreaker answer for a future. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a tie. Yeah, it's un American. Un American, we, you must have a we'll go we're not winning prize. You can't cut the imaginary trophy in half. I'm sorry. I'm willing to split the prize equally. Who guys won the high jump? In fact, medal. I'm willing to split the prize uh -huh. all the teams, even the ones that didn't win. Okay, so okay. what is the uh, so I've got Rob, Caspian, Carl for next week. I need a bonus and a category. I got one. Who said that? Jeff? Okay. And I need a bonus. Or if you really have a category, then Carl will take the the bonus. Okay, I got a tiebreaker. The shoe capital of the world. That's not a tiebreaker. Vancouver. Break. By manufacturing volume it's or style? Vancouver. Really? Never mind. I'm just joking. It was Brockton, Massachusetts. <laughs> I uh, I put a link to more stuff about uh, airport names, including Newark is EWR because the Navy claimed all the airport names that begin with N. So they oh. had to take the N out of Newark and it's just EW. Oh my God. Interesting. Dude. Ewok. <laughs> and really I, checked, I checked Wikipedia, Leonard, because, you know, it's always correct. Um, and it did basically say what I said about the Toronto except Airport. For the, except for the coordinate part. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. yeah, and that's the part I was wondering about. Ah, yeah, and it could very well be not right because I just very quickly. Yeah, it's the designation for, for the near for the nearby station. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, the I nearby the nearby station the makes week. sense. Yeah, fair enough. the The other thing is that apparently it's actually a rule that, according to the International Air Transport Association, that Canada must put Y on the beginning of all airport codes. Oh, they don't interesting. Have a choice. Yeah, they they standardized. Uh, yeah, I don't know how Canada got stuck with why. They want to, why not? <laughs> and they said and they, in the don't want to use I, the things that I and they don't want to use the Z. They don't want to use the Z because there'll be the confusion about how to say it when they're coming into the airport. <laughs> they also yeah. clearly, clearly, clearly they Canada don't care because they did. A. And and we all, <laughs> we all <laughs> and we already had X. So the next letter is Y. Okay, Karen, do you want to do bonus or do you want to do a category? To which one? Category. You said category. Okay, so Carl, do you want to do the bonus? <laughs> yeah, I can do the bonus. Okay, thank you, Karen. I, I, it's hard to believe that I'm having to twist your arms. It's just not normal. I'm well, not but you said you want people to have a variety, and I just did it last week. Every other week. Oh, well, every other week is okay. <laughs> it's like. I won't go next week, but I the next week after that, I'm okay. I got one maybe for the week after the. But next week is my mom's birthday, so I have to drive up to Boston to. Oh, to oh we should meet Mike. I'll be in Boston. What? Is that Why? Right? Is that Why are you going to Boston? I'm going to Boston. But I'm, 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 I'm only I got to zip in and zip out. And uh, drive it up. Okay. Wait, 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 they're, they're going to let you Friday. cross the border, Adrian? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm flying, which is allowed the, right now. Oh, I didn't hear that they changed. Hi, Ramiro. That. Stop watching those Night coconut Romero. videos and get as long as I'm, go to the Bullfinch pub and buy a t-shirt. Finish your Wikipedia vaccinated. training. Yes. <laughs> Flying has been allowed for quite some time already. It's driving it over the border. That's mm. yeah. Yeah. Is, that drive? Next week? Well, is that Can why I... I was so lonely crossing in a couple of weeks ago? Because I mean, wow. I guess. So you're more contagious week. in a car than you are in a plane, apparently. I, think yeah, I, don't, I don't understand that at all. Wait, Alan, Americans are allowed into Canada. Canadians are not allowed into the U.S. That's correct. Right. Well, I'm like, stay by, out of here. By driving. Okay. Canada no. opened the border, but the U.S. did not. It's, it's not right. the Canadians. It's just anyone who calls the Z. They're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you ask them, never... why does it start with a Y and they say why? Is why there not? Syrup You've is never been group. to the zoo and seen yeah. a zebra? Well, according they to some health, the they, they it say is. why, eh? <laughs> why, that, eh? Yeah. That is one, two, why three. not, eh? Uh, why not, eh? Sorry. No, they have zebras at the zoo. <laughs> you saw Pulp Fiction. Zed's dead. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. I like the Zed PM. Yep. From Star Good night, everybody. I gotta go. I'll see you next week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. I'm out too. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Wilma. All right. So I'm going to end early. So I'm Susan, when was the wait. date of those things? Oh, I have about. a question. Uh, Susan, Susan, October or November? Saturday. Susan. Next Friday. Susan, Saturday. I'll be late. I'll probably come in midway next week. So okay. I have I have a question that I am trying to ask. Yes. Who do you have next week? Four Caspian. categories. Rob, Caspian, Caspian, you're doing four of them. Karen, Jeff, and then. Bonus is Carl. Cool. That's okay. That is perfect. I wonder why is that like I'll, the category? I'll do <laughs> two weeks after that, also. I have. I'm going to do something very slightly different next week. That I'm not going to reveal until then, but it requires me knowing who these people are. Uh, ah. Uh oh. Don't what? You. I better show up next week. Because now I'm really curious. <laughs> Hmm. And I got that on video. It's not even my dogs. Who, my dogs are usually the care? barky ones. <laughs> it, does it have to be that it's order? Not your dogs, bro. Oh no, I don't care about not the my order. Dogs. I just wanted to know the names. This mine. So in other words, if somebody <laughs> changes out, dog. I need to let you know. <laughs> oh no, that won't matter either. Just as long as I know who's doing categories next week. Who else is doing categories next week again? But if that? somebody next week says I can't do it, and somebody's going to substitute, then I need to let you know. Only to know who that person is. Yeah, that's all I care about. Okay, so yeah, I guess I do. The actual people is irrelevant. 
as in the the thing that I'm doing is based on who those people are. So it's not anything to do with Karen, Rob, Jeff, or Carl as specifically. But it has something to do with (laughs) the people who are doing categories. But not who they are. But not the people, not the more difficult than man man of puzzle category by this. It, it, I, I'm about the body I'm theme that, that represents those people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this feels like cataclysm class. You know, whether whether they're uh, lizard is that people catechism or, or catechism? catechism? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay so like a cataclysm. So it doesn't matter who they are. It matters who they are. Has, <laughs> this right. is a Miss Marple. It, My God, it matters who know? they're not. <laughs> It matters it's just which messing, person yeah. that they it's are representing to do with anything. out of just the messing. triune god at this time. I don't know. Okay, now I am really curious. This is going to happen. I got a whole All week. will be revealed next Thursday. Oh my god, we got to make sure we do this. Civilization has got to live another week. We have to do it, you guys. I must know the answer to this question. All right, I'm signing off early. Bye, oh, it's a sovereign Bye. citizen Bye. thing. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank oh, you, good one, Kyle. What? <laughs>